Welcome to Wednesday! Hey. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games on classic consoles at 60 frames a second with Erlen. Hey guys. <laughs> and myself, where our names are above us. Welcome back. It's been a while, I think, yeah, since it's been you've been a, on the show. It feels like a couple weeks. I think it has been, because uh, it was way at some film festivals. And then I was... Winning up. awards. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I was holding down the home front, looking after these guys. Yeah, yeah, cat sitting. Yeah, that's oh. and there was they were the sweetest. Like, um, man, these cats are just way too nice. Yeah, like, I've never dealt with Look cats this these cat. nice. I was like really sick one day, and I just oh, like see him? Oh, he's covered fell up. asleep, and Tari just like laid on my chest. Oh. And then I, when I woke up, he's still there. It's like, when, what cats do that? Oh, these cats. Yeah, such such love, such dedication. Yeah. Welcome everybody in the chat. Welcome to the show. We have a very exciting show today for everyone. Uh, Dos Kilos eighty, Repentless VG, Dionoid seventy seven, Thrust twenty six. Carl G, G Ground, Ground Trooper. Trooper, all the usual su suspects. I Sposta, and that's the only people that are talking. That's okay though. Yep. Everybody and, else and can I'm sure lurk. We'll see some people on YouTube later, even if you're not like. That's in, right. You know, it's it's. And if you it don't does... come here. You might watch it later. And and uh, thank you to those Twitch subscribers: Coconut eighty one, uh, Gretem's Ground Trooper, I Sposta, Johnny WC twenty three, Mister Fix, Nathan Strum, RC seventy, Repentless VG. Sir Cat Legs, Spiceware, Estramir's 2008, Tiki Dan K. Oh, Sir Cat Legs got skipped. Oh, Sir did, Cat Legs, he man. He did say something up here. He absolutely did, and we missed you. And thank you to Iceposta for resubscribing. He is now up to nine months, and he gets a nine month badge. And you can uh, subscribe as well for free if you have Amazon, or t Amazon Prime, and then uh, subscribe to Twitch Prime. It's free because it's all connected. Yeah, one it's, big corporation. It's, it's one big corporation <laughs> to rule them all. <laughs> and um, and we're both sick. I'm just kind of getting over it, and you're just kind of getting into it. Yeah, is so that I what got, it is? I got a big coffee, which won't help the sickness, <laughs> but it'll help me like get through the show. Yeah, and then I'm probably gonna go nap, and then I got work to do. So it'll be a full day, but it'll be good. Yeah. Oh, Titfos, howdy ho all, hey. howdy ho all. Dios Kilos 80 sounds new to me. Uh, n relatively new. Uh, they've been here a couple shows. Um, uh, but people, new people come. It's awesome. Love it. Yeah. Um, so we got three games today. Uh, Aardvark, which is exciting. because it's classic, dude. Awesome game. And it's very special because this is the final retail <sighs> version of Aardvark Ooh. that's going to be released at Portland Retro Gaming Expo in just over a week. We are so lucky to be able to play the version before it comes out in the stores, in the Atari Age store at the booth in, in uh, uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And it's an awe-inspiring game. We'll get into it, it when we op open yeah. it up. But um... Um, It's by Oscar Toledo G, uh, a.k.a. Nano Chess, by Thomas Yench and Nathan Strum. And Thomas is in the chat, Thrust26. I hope the games will get you through the show. They will. Oh, they'll, definitely. And we'll power through. And we'll, you forget that you're sick. And we'll be while. okay once we get in. And also his coffee will kick in and life, yeah. will, <laughs> life will carry us and, through. And hello, Smokey133JDN. Such complicated names. Yeah. Um, and we also have Panic on the Pug Farm. See, that wins for the title. <laughs> yeah, it's I want to know what's title. going on at the big farm. And what could possibly. The pug farm. The pug farm. And what could possibly cause panic? I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> on a pug farm. Somebody in the, uh, on Facebook said that. I'm, I'm very intrigued by Panic on the Pug Farm. Yeah, like. Just based on the name. Did the, uh, did the pug get out and you got to rescue it? Are you breeding pugs? We're going to find <laughs> out. What is happening on this pug farm? But all we know is there's a panic. And this is a. Uh, 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 exclusive premiere. Mm. Uh, it's nowhere. He's not posted about this game anywhere. It's not in the Atari Has forums. he made any other games do, that we know of, or is this his oh, uh, first dude, game? Dude, you just went out of the gate with Panic on the Pug Farm. <laughs> You're killing it. <laughs> great uh, great title. Great uh, cover art as well. This crazy looking pug looking over the fence there. Feral uh, hogs. This has got even hogs. funnier and better. <laughs> Save the pugs from the feral hogs. That's a meme. Um, uh, and that's made by Jeff Kenny and Dan Leroy. And we've got uh, Pro Bowling uh, by Edward Smith, a.k.a. E a K A E A Smith. Oh, that's exciting. Yep. And to see how that gets translated, too, to the Atari is going to be very interesting. Yeah. 
Because um, it strikes me that, like, is it, th- we'll see it if it's you? 3D or 2D, <laughs> exactly, it strikes me. It's... <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, it, it's, 3D, 2D, overhead, like, I'd just be interesting to see the approach to, to, to doing show bowling. It. Yeah, I have seen it implemented in all those ways. Yeah. And, you know, there's pluses, minuses for all of them. So we're going to take a look at that. And he has finalized that. Like, within a week, he put it out and went, I'm done. Damn. So we'll see if uh, see if it's uh, is done. We'll see if that's hubris or if that's confidence <laughs> yeah. or if that's just, or you just nailed it. You I mean, uh, he's the guy who did uh, the pro golf game. Ah, okay. Which is a great golf that's game. That's a terrific game. And he did a basketball game, one, one vs. one, one versus one. Yeah. And that's a pretty good basketball he's game as well. He's got a sports theme for sure, yeah, man. Yeah, he's really hitting the sports uh, games. Um, so, like I said, it's just a week away from Portland Retro Gaming Expo. I will be there. This is epic. Thank you shouldn't God. be there, but you will be there. Yeah, I shouldn't, but I'm making it happen. I'm Only because gonna... he's so busy. Not because he shouldn't yeah. go to, but just because you have, like, you told me you're, like, flying. Yeah, getting up at 2 a.m. Right. In, in Minneapolis and <laughs> flying there and making it by 11 a.m. in Portland. Maybe uh, sleeping, maybe not. Uh, I'm terrible for uh, in cars and on planes. Anything that's not my bed, it's so hard to sleep. Um, I get like 20 minutes at a time because I'm, I guess I'm sensitive to sound or light and it just, yeah. I just keep waking up. I'm definitely sleepy enough, but it, I think it just wakes me up. That's the problem. It's just conditioning, man. Like, it's yeah. like, you know, people, cause you, you've probably, oh, there's the pug guy. Hey dude. Smokey123JD oh, one, yeah. three, three, and we love developers in the chat. So welcome. Yeah. And you can tell us about your game. Give us some tips. I'm excited. That's uh, very James, cool. you early mentioned possibly doing programming episodes or programming your own game. I'd like to watch you. If you take that path, I will take that. I, w- I want to watch it's that. All, too. It's all about time and we'll get into that too. Um, I do want to start doing small, like say five minute chunks of things about the 2600. Uh, hardware, software, programming, um, and more so like YouTube, I can learn. And more like YouTube content rather than streaming, or do you no, think no, it'll no, be it, streaming? It'll, it'll be streaming. It'll okay, be cool. Like, it'll be like live lessons. I'll have like one or two slides per episode, because I don't want it to take over, but um, I want to learn, and I want to also present it to the people here, and then get feedback from them live, and and then maybe I'll make it into a, a, a YouTube series that sounds cool afterwards so this would be kind of maybe my test bed for it um then i'll have the slides and update the slides or whatever you know animation um uh there's a really good channel what am, i can't remember the name of it but he talks more about uh nes uh, an snes uh architecture uh hardware architecture and programming and he's the slickest youtube channel yeah. for programming and i wish I could remember the name of it, but just look for um, uh, programming uh, SNES and NES, and it talks about I can't imagine uh, video and har- hardware. And I can't imagine there's hundreds of people doing that. There must be only no, so like no, yeah, if you just look up, pretty easy to find, and it's it's like hardware mechanics or something or mechanics EX or something really really good. The, yeah, 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 yeah. The more you understand the objects, the more you can think of ways to use them. Yeah. It's, it's very true. And your relationship to it will just deepen. Yeah, you have to really understand the machine you're programming for oh, to yeah. understand what its strengths and its weaknesses are. And it really, the games fit the machine rather than the machine than, than just making up anything. You have to program for it. Retro Gaming Mechanics Explained. Retro game mechanics explained. So That's the this one. This is why a group of people is always smarter <laughs> than an individual. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's so great. It's, it, he is an. It's so good. The the animation in it, and the way it's explained, and it's re, like it's a lot of it's above my head, um, because you know I'm I'm not programming that machine. Yeah. I don't know much about it, but if you want to learn to program, it's unbelievable. Commercial tutorials. Oh, of courses. Pikuma is commercial tutorials for the 2600? Interesting. Uh, that's, a, that's a great resource, Dino. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Because they're uh, not just for us, but like for for other people as well. Yeah. Oh, earplugs and a blindfold. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks, Thrust. I think I may do that for the plane ride from Minnesota to Portland. Yeah, I was, uh, on, on, the, on that topic, I was just going to very quickly say I think it's conditioning, right? Like, I mean... Like, I grew up kind of being on couches and going from place to place. Like, I never slept in really the same mm. bed twice as a kid. 
it like it, it sorry like the same same bed every week like it would always be like a different place different couches and stuff so yeah. i can sleep anywhere because my whole life I've, I've never had to but you probably had pretty consistent yeah i'm just guessing i don't yeah, know if very that's... Consistent. <laughs> you don't know me <laughs> you don't know my life get out, my, get out of my room mom <laughs> it's, it's true yeah no 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 very consistent yeah, um, and then you think the people from the military are, oh are my kings, God. They, right? They have to sleep standing up. <laughs> totally, and like you know, and, and they say if you do like um, if you go on any um, uh, like boot camp or anything like that, your ability to sleep anywhere increases by tenfold. You have to, yeah, like you got to force to. And the navy apparently is crazy oh. because you have to be on watch. And I heard stories of like, and it's like water lapping onto the ship, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna have a quick nap in water. <laughs> in That's water, not like, oh but you know, it's 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 crazy. I'll have to check out that online programming course. Um, uh, and while I'm at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, mostly hanging around the Atari Age booth, um, uh, I'll be interviewing uh, Dianoid, uh, the guy behind the uh, Amoeba Jump, who's which is being released at Portland Retro Who Gaming Expo. Who just posted so good. Yeah, there you go. And uh, ta in interviewing him about his upcoming game, uh, Tower of Rubble, as well. This is a everything. cool game, man. Yeah, yeah, he's he's doing great with his choices of games <laughs> he's putting out it's unbelievable and they're so well programmed um so along with a, a ton of atari age games uh there are two uh, uh homebrew games being put out by uh, good deal games as well yeah and so speaking of uh pro bowling by edward smith they are both his games pro golf and um and also the one-on-one -on -one, uh basketball uh, the Pro Golf is limited to 50 boxed copies um, at Portland Retro so Gaming that's Expo. that's fairly exclusive. Pretty exclusive. Um, it comes with a cartridge box, a scorecard, you know, a golf scorecard. Oh, that's good. Uh, a printed golf tee saying Atari Pro Golf and a 16-page full-color manual. And also, the manual actually is a big deal, man. Especially oh, when you're buying a physical copy, it's just it's yeah, like it's, it's so like when good. you used to get CDs, you could go home and open up and like look at it. I mean, that's the tragedy. Of we will get to that thrust. Ooh, I know, I know. It's good that good stuff. Um, <laughs> I have that on my uh, on my list here. <laughs> Not next, but the one after. And the one on one is limited to twenty five copies. Um, and it has the three games: horse one on one and around the world. So those are really, really cool, um, yeah. especially the Pro Golf. That one's really nice looking uh, golf course screens. Um, so somebody asked me earlier in the chat, uh, how's the Atari repair going? Um, I did get a little bit into it yesterday. Um, You've been so busy. I mean, you just came that's back. That's the problem. I've been catching up. I've been getting ready for the next... And you next... had a show Friday, right? Yeah, I had a show Friday. <laughs> I have a show today. Yeah. I have to prepare for those. And then you're going, stuff going for... away soon again. So. Yeah. Um, so I did get this great multimeter, and Darcy showed me how to use it a little bit. Um, and so I've been testing uh, the power throughout it. Um, the, power the power plug is fine. It's getting power into the machine. It's actually getting power... Uh, out to the video, um, the RGB video output is getting power as well. Um, so that's a good sign. It is a good sign for power. I don't know if uh, power is going throughout the whole machine. Um, what I do need from you guys is really good um, schematics for the Atari, so I can know where all the power all the power leads go to uh, on the Atari, because I am completely useless at this kind of thing. So I really need some hand holding with that. Um, so some really good schematics. If you could message me in the Atari Age uh, forums, or if you could message me on Facebook as well, um, don't link it in here because it's just going to scroll by. Um, actually, if you link it right now, I can click on it. It'll open up here, and I'll, I'll be able to keep it here. Um, so I actually need this, this, this book. <laughs> <laughs> um, the owner's uh, workshop manual. That would be I incredible. Atari Age has schematics. Oh, okay, so they have some links on there. That's great news. Yeah, I need some detailed ones because I was looking up on one and it was just like really like not very well labeled. Like you had to already have knowledge of it um, to work with it. So we'll see if I even have enough knowledge to read the things. That's the problem. That's the barrier. Like I just need everything outlined. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. 
there. Oh yeah, this looks pretty good. Let's see, high resolution version. Oh yeah. Yeah, shows ground. Yeah, this looks really good. Okay, I think I'll be able to work with that. Hopefully I'll have enough time. And you feel like you're Einstein just <laughs> working through that, yeah. Just, yeah, just figuring out the, you know, nature of the cosmos trying to cuz like oh, holy cow. I mean, that's going to be cool. Yeah. I remember I remember having to um look through some schematics sort of like that in math class and physics class oh, um, yeah. and just some really old old textbooks that would be oh. like trying to like trying to keep the decipher keep the things handwritten hit. things well yeah and also showing like wiring and those like some of those symbols i do recognize from some stuff but i mean a lot of that stuff feels like it's older technology and like oh, older it's all from the 70s which so. is just I just remember an old physics textbook just had, like, it was like, it was one of those things where it's like, Billy's Walkman stopped working, <laughs> look at his wiring, it wasn't that, but I remember seeing some similar, some similar things, which is very cool, you're probably by the end of this learn oh, way more bit. about this. I'll, I'll know what connects to what and what gets power, at least that much by the end, but I may have to rely on Darcy, because uh, he has a, a little bit more knowledge than me about Where do you uh, get his wiring. knowledge from all that? Just... just going at it just uh, he's always been interested in electronics way back since I first met him um, but he's put together um, underwater ROVs okay so he knows enough you know he's wired yeah. up cameras to them and encased them in you know hardened plastic so there's no water gets into them when it goes under the water so he, he knows enough to to be dangerous let's that's say awesome that. yeah. thank God we got Darcy in our lives exactly um, so I wanted to play some videos of some new Atari 2600 homebrew games, but they're not available anywhere. The videos or and the games? The games. The okay. videos are available and I downloaded them because the last time I talked about this person's games, they deleted all of them off Ooh. their, off their channel. I think I might remember it's this. It's Simo. Simo. Oh, who, the mystery of Simo, man. The mystery of Simo Simo's got the continues. coolest fucking games. They're so weird. They're so quirky. Simo is a Sasquatch of oh, yeah. Atari 2600, man. We got to go into the woods and find some, you know, pixelated <laughs> DV footage of Simo. Yeah. It's, uh, they, they are not on the Atari age forums anymore. They haven't been on there in a long time. I think 2015, I think it is. Um, but they do have a YouTube channel that they post to semi-regularly. Yeah. And they posted to it recently. Um, this is the person who made the multi-game dot. It was like I eight games in one. one. Yeah. It's got quirky gameplay. It's got quirky music. It, and it it's fits very the mythology, too, of him yeah. being this, like... It's I'm strange. I'm strange still convinced stuff. that James has programmed stuff. And, and he's actually Simo. Yeah. This is the long con. Oh, At the definitely. Portland Retro Gaming Expo, he's going to reveal the true... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's me all along, and I'm going to release all the games. True origins of Simo, man. This entire show has been designed <laughs> just for this reveal. Okay, so this is the first uh, game I want to show you. Uh, this is Doris. Um, you have seen this on Dot, but not this version. Help Doris collect hearts right before there. the timer runs out. But watch out, as she has to be the same color of the heart to collect it, or it will be game over. Also, avoid contact with the platforms, if you don't want Doris to be teleported in a random position, with a random color. So, this is... This is Doris. This was on the dot compilation, but it didn't have these colors in the background. It's is pretty much the same on the dot compilation. Um, so you just gotta wait till he's the right color before. Oh yeah, you have to change it. color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you push a button to and change you do, color. Like, you dab. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> to change colors. I never understood that hearts. dabbing business myself. Yeah, it's just a thing. It's it's a streamer thing, isn't it? I think doesn't it come from. Oh. I know some of them come from um, uh, Dark Souls. Some of them come from uh, like uh, Fortnite. I wonder what the yeah. origins of dabbing is. I've never looked it up. Me neither. Nor is, is it really. All memory was used for the lady talking. I don't think uh, that that's external. That's not in the game. 
Um, it's because yeah, it, you're right. That would be hilarious. I guess Simo doesn't want to reveal their voice, their real voice. It's a secret. Well, yeah. It's... Okay, so oh, there's everybody gets to see their own chat. Oh my god, this thing. There we go. Uh, the next one up. Oh, he says we can't see show YouTube video. Well, I mean, did did we miss it? I thought I, I thought it was totally what show the YouTube video. Did did we have it like no video? no video? What? I just showed it. Is it not working? It showed on here, didn't it? Oh. Oh no! See, Simo, man. Whenever you try to engage with Simo, he's like, I don't know. We need to get those people One from The Conjuring second. to come and help us with Simo. Let's try that again. <laughs> we didn't see the video. <laughs> That's weird. Is that better? Can you guys see it now? Can you see it? It's showing that it's showing the video. Yup. Yup what? Now we see it. Oh, you didn't see it before? Yeah. That's really weird. Okay, well, we'll watch it again. Um, yeah, so the mythos of, uh, Simo lives on, um, because I, what did, what did I do? I made a, a really, I did a really in-depth look for Simo. I scoured the internet, I looked everywhere, I was, I was tracing where they've been and what time they've been, and then, like, shortly, right shortly after I did the show, um, they erased all their YouTube videos. And I was hoping, I was like, oh my god, did I do this? I'm sure you've all heard it, so I'm, I'm just going to play it in the background. Did, it, did I influence the, yeah. the, the, the hiding of Simo again? But the big question is, like, what is going on? Like, they're making these games. This is kind of an update to an older game, but this is a, a newer video. Are they going to put these out? I've, I've looked everywhere. I used Google to search for... Uh, Simo or Simone, Simone, uh, I can't remember what their last name is, um, but these, these are nowhere to be found. Uh, okay, so, uh, do you think, it, the other thing is, can't is, hear it, it's echo, oh, sorry, you, you heard it last time, though. The, the other thing that I think about the Simo business, it could also be like an alias of some, of another programmer, potentially, too, right? Could be. It could be, could kind of trolling us, you just never know, right? Sarah. Sarah Simone, that's the name of the person. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. Um, but good luck finding them. The binary is improbably encoded in the videos. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Uh, so this next one is Tint. Uh, this is also in... Uh, the Simo archives. Uh, this was also in Use Dot. Um, but this is an updated version as well from that. So here we go. Boom. So I'll turn up this one, and we're going to be quiet because I explain what this game is about. Use your transforming vehicle to collect fuel canisters, and prevent your fuel tank from running out. Watch out, though, as you will have to use the right form of your vehicle, depending on the terrain type. The car can move on the road, while the airship can move over water. Trying to navigate across the map, with the wrong vehicle type, will hamper your movement, and will consume your fuel at a quicker rate. Okay, turn that down a bit. So this is um, is that Hal's wife talking? Is that Hal? yeah? It's Hal. Hal's wife survived. Hal's Hal. betrothed. Um, so this one was on the Dot Multi Game as well, um, but the the original one was like that other one where you switched color. You switched your ship color to match the color of the pickup pieces. But this one's... But this one's completely different. You switch your ship from land to air. Um, so he's land, air, land. Because one is slow if you don't switch it. If you don't switch it, you move really slowly. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's a cool mechanic. I'm into that. But and you have only so much time to get the next one. And then you fuel back up each time. That makes yeah. sense. Um, there's been a lot of games made like that where you switch from, um, say, black to white, and there's enemies coming at you, and you can only shoot the black enemies when you're black, and you can only shoot the white enemies when you're white, and when you're the opposite color, you're you're in 
invincible to them or something like that. It's it's, it's like that. So that's well, click on the link and see what the link. Yeah, that's they what sent. I wanted to do. Who knows what that is? That might be something you already know about. That might be something new. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. I love it. He that's, just that's definitely not the right one. I love it, Thrust. Thank you. <laughs> you never know, man. That might Could be how be. he chills out. He's yeah, it's like a programmer by day and a UFC fighter UFC by fighter night, man. Okay, now I'm going to show you two... by day program by night. Now I'm going to show you two new ones. Uh, the first one is um, just a demo. It's music and set, um, music and visuals. <clears throat> and unfortunately, we don't get any uh, extra info from this screen here. Damn it! Because uh, they showed their uh, they showed their. Uh, uh, launch screen here of uh, Stella and it's only like C2600 as their as their path so they can't even see what path. it's just a normal everyday path wow. they use windows there yeah go. we know, we know that. that we got some details <laughs> they use windows <laughs> that doesn't give us much though no okay sadly. so let's get this one this is called Gabber <laughs> As in Gabber hardcore music, style of music, style of electronic. That just keeps going on for a while. Um, that's so, that's very stoner. Yeah. So it's if you've ever heard that type of music, it's like do 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 do. It's like super high BPM yeah. uh, electronic music, big huge um, bass sounds, totally. very bassy kind of music. Like the the it's very cool. the theme to like um, uh, enter the void feels like that yes. style. Right? Very that close very to that style. Like... I don't think it is that style, but very close. And the next one is actually a new game. Uh, called Crude. Uh, let's take a look at that one. Because we can't play these. So I have to just play videos of them. And I downloaded the videos because I deleted all their videos last time. Yeah. Of all their new games. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? Okay. Direct the four cleaning pointers across the memory area and remove the errors that pop up before the timer runs out. So, from what I can gather from the video, uh, the button switches between each of the things, the four big blocks on the screen. Um, and the blocks just bounce back and forth until you take control of it. Oh, and then your job then, is to Then you of... can get, then you can control it. Oh, and I guess you have a time limit, so you're trying to just like... You're trying to optimize that makes the sense. blocks. So you can switch between them to go, oh, I need to be that block to to control that block as quickly as possible. Oh, and that block's close to that one now, so I have to switch to that one. Very cool mechanic, and they, they, they always have really, really interesting mechanics in, in their game. For someone who's like so mysterious this is fairly <laughs> prolific um yeah number of things i don't know when he um or she or created she. these but that's a fair number like that's more yeah. than a lot of like programmers who are very serious um, and music and games. sound effects are great in these yes yeah they are they're, they feel like packaged like there's and they're unique they have their own voice they very feel like the, the, you know so i'm really sad that None of us can play these games. We only get to see a video for a very short time till they delete yeah. it. And maybe, maybe what they're doing is making another multi cart. That's possible. And like building their way up to it, and then going to emerge. Or like maybe like twenty six hundred games are like Mandela's for them. You know, those Mandela's those monks make where they build these like <laughs> intricate sand and then drawings and, and then dump them in the ocean and then oh do it God. again, right? <laughs> so maybe it's just a form of meditation creating these games. It's a monastic style. Oh, if you turn on the closed captioning in YouTube, the language is French. 
Well, the, the, <laughs> yeah, we're getting closer. That that is. <laughs> if, if you look at the name Simon, that makes sense. Sarah sure. is a French name. However, so, yeah. um, there's a lot of places that speak French in the world there that are. have a similar name because it's a slightly Latino name as well. Because like, we could be in France. There are colonies in yeah. like you know South South America that yeah. speak French. So it's, we we we've narrowed it down, but that's hard <laughs> to know because we could still be in you know basically three different continents. Yeah, I mean they have lots of posts in in the Atari Age forums. Like yeah. it's not they've they've erased themselves completely. And also, what's this? We heard another clue. This seed lead. What's lead? Lead. Oh, lead's a game. Uh, How is it? If you... It's a very good game. I believe I have it. Uh, where is it? Uh, I do have. There it is. So this is their game, um, they, and they have released things. Yeah. It's prolific. Yeah. Simon Sarah, right? Wow, 2008. What's this game like, man? Uh, oh, if I can only remember what it's like. It's a shooter. It's a vertical shooter. Um, it's really good. It has a lot of bullets all at once coming out. I mean, if you bought the cartridge, then yeah, definitely. I haven't played it in a while. Um, it's possible. Oh, yeah, they're a great um, programmer. Possibly he's from Italy, too. I mean, you know. There's, you... I thought he was from Italy. Yeah, I'm sure there's already a lot of information, though. But, I mean... If they don't want to release these games, we can't do anything about no, that. No, we can't. I don't know if they're listening to the show or... Oh, that would be the... If, uh, that would be good. That would be very cool. That if you are if... listening, if it ever reaches you, please, please release these amazing games in some way, in some form, so we can play them. Um, so we're going to get into the first game, if you've waited long enough. Uh, it's Aardvark. And yeah. And this is the full... Aardvarkian adventure. Yes, it is. So this nano chess man. Is... I want to play nano chess. This nano chess game. <laughs> I, well, yeah, go for it. Download it. <laughs> um, I think he holds what? What was it? The world record for smallest chess game ever made. Ah, oh, that's badass. With a, with AI. Yeah, right? I love chess, man. That's one of my favorite things in this world. So. So this is the retail version of Ardvark. This one is going to be on the cartridge at Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and we're so uh, privileged. An honor to be able to play it here. And we're gonna play, <gasps> we're gonna play with this because I don't want to play with the game pads anymore. Oh, it's badass. Man. Look at, <laughs> I don't know if people have seen this, but look at this. Yes, that's... because the Atari 2600 is not fixed yet. Um, so that's kind of. And it's got a really nice. It's got an Xbox little. Oh, yeah. Little don't press thing. that button. Oh, I won't, but I'm just kidding. This is, must be newer then. If you can plug an Xbox. Because this also seems like you can plug an Xbox controller yes, into there, you too. Can. Uh, the green button is the button. Um, so this is, this build is from September 26, 2019. Uh, maybe these are ab abandoned projects or prototypes. That's they could be possible. old. They could be old. Um, it's, this is a 32K game. It does not use the, um, uh, coprocessor in, in the chip. So I think that was one of the things that they wanted to do. Um, other games, Aardvark, Atom Chess. Uh, and Space Raid. Um, the availability, this is not available until Portland Retro Gaming Expo where it will be on cartridge. Um, the one that is available right now is the November 16th, 2018 version, five level looping demo available in the Atari Age Forum. So let's get this up and going. One second. And there's Yay. no sound. I don't... No, one second. There we go. Oh yeah. Stylist game's very cool. Oh, should I should I jump in? Yeah. No. Okay. No yeah. <laughs> like uh, I answered my own question. <laughs> and this is the the winner of the best work in progress homebrew uh, last year in the 2018 oh, Atari Homebrew Awards. Um, yeah, let's let's press fire and take a look at the me uh, menu. Uh, green. I think it was. Oh, you're not focused on it. There we go. Okay, so there's a bunch of modes. No, don't just start it. Let's look uh, through the modes. Because nobody has seen this. Yeah, so weird. there's normal and hard. Expert. Expert wild, wild. Wild 1, Wild 2, Wild 3. Novice. Novice. Me. No, I'm going to do 
not easy. Uh, normal is... Probably we'll start with normal. I just feel like I want to have some self-respect when I go home. And if I play easy or novice, <laughs> if you win, you don't really win. And that's yeah. that's hard. So Hill... Unfortunately, Oscar and Nathan Strum didn't make it today, but maybe they'll jump in a little bit later. Uh, the hill would be the hill you start on. I would leave all these at defaults. Yeah, and then lives, extras. Yeah, so extra would be um, when you get an extra life. And I would just leave all those. And I, I guess I just press fire when I'm ready to do it. <sighs> yep. Let's do Let's it. get into it. I'm gonna turn the just a little. Oh fuck! So remind me how this works. So yeah. go to the left. Okay. Oh, you're dead. I just okay. don't remember exactly. I as soon as I figure it out. So the ants you have to eat head on. The worms you have to eat from behind. Yes, and then I can the worms, retract it. You retract it with the button. Uh, the worms can pass through your extended tongue, but the ants can't. So you have to watch your tongue. See, that worm at the top is going to be fine. He can pass through it. You want to get that ant? Yep, you can get him from behind. Uh, it's very Pac-Man-like in the fact that your goal is to eat all the... I mean... The purple Can pellets. I eat these from behind too. Yeah, yeah, you can get the ants any way you like. It's just the ants will. Oh, oh, yeah. see, that's the that's the danger. Okay, I remember remembering this now. Phosphor. There you go. Yeah. Um. And a good hint. This one's pretty equal, but and you I can wanna... eat these from the front no, too. No, 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 no. That'll kill you. Okay, good. That's what I figured. And the, the hint is to keep your tongue going down the middle as possible because then you have enough, lots more reaction time for when an ant comes. Ah, oh, shit, I was trying to go over to the right. Yeah. So it's I'm going to read what the updates are. These were sent to me by Thomas Yench. Um, all the options are available, especially the wild modes, which add some extra challenge. Um... I think this is supposed to be Wild 1, 2, and 3. Wild 1, uh, some enemies behave differently. Wild 2, blocking rocks which turn the tunnels into some kind of maze. So that's a new thing we have not seen. So there's some rocks that come on Wild 2. Uh, wild 3, extra hole pattern. Less holes and closer to the sides on average. Obviously this one increases difficulty much further, but you can only select starting at the first six hills initially. Oh. Oh. Back up. There you go. Okay. Oh. Oh. There you go. That was Joyst night time. Joystick's a bit. It's getting a little bit used to it. Yeah. Once I nail it, it'll be good. I like how the mountain came No, in. all three changes are all in what through wild mode. Okay, so all the all those wild things I've just said uh, change uh, in all through wild modes. Uh, Thomas, maybe you can uh, explain what the diff... I guess wild one... Uh-oh. Almost bright timing. Okay, like was, two more pixels. It's very close. It was... I don't know if you've been able to make that one, actually. I guess wild one is easiest, wild two is harder, wild three is hardest. I guess that makes the most sense. Is that correct? Obviously, with the final manual, we'll be able to know all the different things. There are more sounds and extra music in the bonus hill. Find the Easter egg to get there. Ooh. Don't know. Uh, we didn't. Nobody's found the Easter egg yet, as far as I could tell in the forums. Wild one is as difficult as normal. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh. What you do is diagonals is to do the to get down the holes. So you don't have to position yourself directly over the hole. You just diagonal it. Diagonal it ah, till you get. To, oh. Whoa, that was close. But you did it. This is turning to war <laughs> games. And if you watch the sun going across the top, uh, when the sun reaches the other side, that's when the spider comes Turns out. Into night. Oh, God damn it. You're fine. You can leave that worm. Uh, I think you gotta I clean it up. I totally quick. miscalculated. Clean up all that. Oh, oh see, it's no. the problem is, is like this joystick quick, is. Quick. See him like. I'm fucked. Uh, no, you could still do, do it. Do I kill the spider? To leave, no, it kills you. You have to avoid it. Get away from okay. it. You can't kill it. Unless you had a... Oh, no, you're very Yeah, good. I'm fucked. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, more sounds and extra music on the bonus hill. Looks even better than I remember from last year's contest. I should yeah, I try I another think... one? Yeah, yeah, do one more. I feel like I was just figuring it out yeah. in that one. I s no, the hills look the same. It, 
Maybe it's the clouds, they look... I think the clouds look different. They're a lot more wispy. They're really nice looking in this one. Ah! Oh, there see, you go. It's like, it's not easy, because this is this... The joystick's very reactive. Yeah, it's just a different joystick. Yeah. Ah, oh, see, like, it's... <laughs> We can plug in the gamepad. Nah, man, it's want. all good. It's half the fun is getting angry at the thing. So it's like <laughs> something to blame other than me. <laughs> uh, let's see. Someone's found the Easter egg? Oh, okay. Uh, so it has save key support for uh, high scores. Uh, the color scenarios. Uh, previously, this was random, so now the colors are set colors. Yeah, the grass looks really nice. Kind of tapers off at the left edge. Um... Uh, Lots of further polishing. Difficulties have been adjusted after extensive testing. No H move blanks in the game kernel anymore. Very nice. Uh, about the development. There's always been an unreleased ant anteater to uh, prototype. I like the game concept a lot. The game was on my to-do list. I also like to believe at the least I helped starting the project with a post of mine. Oscar went on coding and soon showed some results which were very close to the prototype version. He slowly started turning the game into more into the arcade version direction when I contacted him and offered my help. Together with Nathan, uh, I joined the team. After the massive impression the ARM-driven oh. games made, I had the plan to prov prove that a stock 6507 can do the same and Aardvark seemed like a good candidate. For doing that, Nathan provided some great graphics and animation. This resulted in a completely new, massively improved game kernel, which is now very close to the arcade version. The final result is even better than the arcade version, in my opinion. Oh, you're so close to finishing. Yeah, I just keep, like, dying from stupid things. There you go. Yeah, this is worthy to note that this game could have been put out back in the yeah, original yeah. era. Because they did not use any processor, co-processor on here. You have to tell Stella to use the save key? It's not on by default? That's hilarious. That's weird. I would think that the save key would be on by default. It's okay, we're not playing seriously today. I, I'd rather record my proper high scores in my actual uh, console once it's fixed. Yeah, it... Oh, it's Jared Gray Rust. Yes, it does look amazing. Like, the, the, the a obviously the animation of the anteater at the top is unbelievable. It has so many frames of animation. And so detailed. Oh, just in time. Yeah, get all the bottom ones you can. Well, it's hard because, like... Because those are the hardest. You know what I mean? Like, I found myself, like, firing up into positions that... And also a hint, if you get all the ants quickly at once, they all keep coming out at once. Oh, God. I'm just... Yeah. And what you want to do is wait for the very last second to get that um, queen ant at the bottom because it clears out everything. Oh, there you see, go. do you, you see what I mean? It's across. like, oh. but it, but it, it's the, it's the, it's really hard to go straight with this controller. I, you have to almost diagonal the opposite direction because uh. it will naturally kind of. Oh. Not in this version of Stella. Next one will have auto detect for the controllers. Uh. See. <laughs> It's like if there's a hole, you're going in it. You're not, you're not going right. <laughs> we'll see how it is, and maybe we'll switch it out. I'll try it after this. At least I made it to level three, though, man. That's good. That's very good. That's better than, like... So, um... Thomas posted on the uh, forums once, The basic rules. Eat all the eggs to proceed to the next hill. Ants and caterpillars can be eaten by the tip of the tongue, but are deadly for the tongue. Worms can only be eaten from behind. Queen kills all enemies. That is the basics. It doesn't uh, talk about the uh, spider at the end, but... Oh! Bad luck, man. Yep. Bad luck. Here you go. Is that it? Oh, okay. That's as far as I could do it. Normal. Let's turn to normal. It's like, it's part of the adventure, feels like. You see what uh, I mean? Where it kind of, it's kind of yeah. like, it, it kind of makes decisions that are, 
not what you want. Yeah, but but it's also like not. Ah. It's not so bad that it's unplayable. But it's like it just surprises you a little bit, you know. It's like ordering something from like McDonald's. It's like, is there gonna be lettuce? Oh my is there God. gonna be bacon? Who knows? <laughs> Mayonnaise? There might be some. Maybe. You know you get a hamburger. What's what on kind it? Kind of hamburger, yeah. That's how I feel about this joystick. <laughs> it's the first time I've used this joystick on like an Atari game. Usually I use it on like just like arcade games. You know what this would be killer is like a shooter, man. Oh yeah, yeah. The best. So it's just this one's easy like, control. For this that. this is just a specifically. It's not bad. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, it just takes. You almost have to adjust. You know what I mean? Like, if like you this want is a it. professional joystick. Yeah, it's like almost too good. Yeah, it is. It's it's too. I think sensitive. we're also so used to that one and the way that it feels. It's that mushy. That yeah. One. This one is like precise. So it's like. It is that thing where um, it's, we have Stockholm Syndrome, you know? We're like in <laughs> love right. with... I love my terrible joystick. Yeah, we're just missing the old, uh, you know, the old Atari. It's, it's we sad. are. It's very sad. We're going to get it back, though. That's cool that you're oh, yeah. attacking it and trying to trying to problem solve all this stuff. Hopefully Darcy will be... Oh, my God. <laughs> See, there you go. You're experiencing my nightmare. It is. It's terrible. Oh, oh see? my god! Hilarious. At but least it, I've got the bottom part done. Yeah. So. so it's like the rest of it is. Yeah, not too bad. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Fuck yeah! Okay, good. You got it. <clears throat> oh yeah, the colors are great. Yeah, it looks amazing. I mean, this is a, just an awe-inspiring game in terms oh, of programming. So polished. Um, and, and again, another team effort, because um, it's hard to make a. I knew I shouldn't have tried for that one. It's hard to make a game of this caliber by yourself. Oh. I mean, it takes a lot longer. Um, I think this started in 2016. This game, uh, maybe a bit before. The design's impeccable. I mean, especially oh, the, uh, the design of the ant eater. The design. We got like a little sun up there, like the hills, the ants, the spiders. The mechanics, like it's a very, very, very good game. Oh yeah, the detail of all the characters. Ooh, that was Whoa. very close. <laughs> uh, and the way the play field is really well used to draw the hills and the underground is... Oh, this is very dangerous. Uh oh, yeah, you're... You've limited Knew yourself it, but I, quite I a bit. Kind of backed myself into that because the worm was there so I couldn't do anything. Yes, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so James had a had his um uh, birthday party. Oh yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. and That's he right. and he took us to the retro arcade here in Vancouver. Just amazing arcade. Oh man, and the, and you got to you guys got to know I've never played these games in the arcade. It's <laughs> the real hilarious, versions. right? So I got to play uh, uh, a Draconian um uh Bosconian. Bosconian, yeah. sorry. I got to play ah. I got to play like um I like this uh, joystick. Galaga. Yep. I got to play like um, uh, what were the other ones that I've seen on the show? It was just very cool to those are those are the two that stood out because I I first played them on the homebrew. I never played the original, and and then also this like on the original like you know was it CRT? Is that right? Yes, the, that's right. Yeah, rather than a flat screen. Yeah, you're, you're talking about all oh, these curved screens are so interesting. <laughs> that's what I'm I was like, saying, man. Oh man, you're young, and I was because we grew up on TVs like that. So you wait till they're all out because it kind of resets them all. That's smart. As close as possible, it resets them all to the same time. And it was, um, but it was pretty amazing because it was also just like the design of them. It feels like a different medium, actually. Like looking at those screens, and they felt like far more like it was like there's electricity bubbling on the surface it's, it's... of these tangible real things yeah. yeah and then i played the simpsons game that arcade one and i beat it finally because <laughs> it was free play right so you could plug as many lives into it as you want to. yeah that's just a just a quarter sinking game that's all that one is it's pretty unfair actually because i was oh. oh i waited too long did you notice spider delay after did you notice the spider delay after it was killed? No, we didn't. Oh, um, I was just we I was zoned into to 
completing the level. What's this big fire ant? What's that one? Uh, I can you kill it? I think it changes directions. There, it just changed directions. Yeah, yeah, it acts like a normal ant, except it, like its movement is not like a normal ant, but uh, it it's the same. It's just like oh, you get a couple more points with it's it, too. It's forced into going down that side. Yeah, I mean, I guess I did have CRT TVs growing you up. Must have, like, um, but not, but not like, um, it's, but those like not they long. are. But the arcade ones are, are unique because you're sort of looking at them like at sort of like three quarters. You know what I mean? And they're yeah, and, they're, and they seemed they're almost like um, yeah, it just was like a different thing, you know. Yeah, you're used to playing. It's probably you're used to playing video games. Yes. On a flat screen. Definitely. Monitor. And yes. Okay. Good. What a controller, though, eh? Uh, yeah, I'm not super happy. I'm kind of getting used to it, but I'm still not very happy with it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, we'll take a look at uh, what's going on with this spider-killing thing. Or whatever. There. there, I killed the spider. Delay. I don't know. I'm not sure what the what he's talking about. The I delay just... of the spider after it was killed. I'm I'm guessing there. It just came out just there. That's new too. Would the, did the spider come immediately out before, after you killed it? It's definitely nice to have that delay. Because I mean, you earned it. Purple but... level, man. This is good. Purple hills. I that was a song by Eminem. It's part of D12. Oh. Purple Hills. It's all about them taking drugs. Oh, there's a little caterpillar. Cute little caterpillar. Oh, oh my God. no. That's it for me. <laughs> Let's try it with the other uh, controller. Yeah, it's a good idea because I think it'll feel a bit more fun for us. There I mean, go. it's nice not having something to blame it on, you know? <laughs> exactly. We want to play the game as best we can. Yeah, immediately before it felt too unfair. Definitely. I think I I definitely like the... Oh, uh, uh, do you think it'll work now? What, which one is... is I it, don't know. Is it A? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's way more fair because the spider coming out immediately after you kill it is like you earned killing that spider. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's a little bit... I think it's a little bit harder to go down them now. Right? Yeah, it's kind of like... So you have to really intentionally do it, which may be better? Well, oh, that's dangerous being that close to the edge up there. Try and stay to the center uh, as much as you can. I mean, on the higher levels, it gets terrible. Everything's off to the side. Uh, I'm definitely like... I think better surviving longer. I you're mean, making everything. In, you're doing intentional moves. It for feels sure. yeah. It feels far more intentional to me yeah. than like before. I think this is going to be a huge hit. Uh, oh, oh, I thought I would see. go for it, but this... that one's off to the side. Actually, the second level down is really. Oh, it completely randomizes it. Actually, each time you start up, because this is a different maze than when you died. Oh, oh shit. no! Can't do that. No, nah, it's just I was hoping to like retract to the middle. I was just I just delayed it for too oh. long because I was gonna go for that other ant, but it just wasn't gonna work. Oh, back, back. Uh oh, yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah, you are. If that's if that ant comes out the left hand side, go back, 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 and then go down to the. Oh yeah, kill the ants and get them all in a row if you can. Like one, two, three, four. Because then they're all delayed to about the same amount of time. I love that the retraction is fairly fast. Yeah. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm uh, fucked. Friends. Yeah, you gotta go down and get that glowing ant. Ah, uh, love the. <laughs> While killing ants. Yeah, the maze is random. I'm not very good at this game. This is a toughie, man. Scar preferred it that way. Oscar preferred it that way. It's like in the arcade version. Okay. Yeah, it, it's no problem with uh, having it randomized. Clean up that bottom quick, quick, quick. Uh, just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Now. There you go. You got it. 
you got. Yay! Okay, this is the first level finally beaten. That's hilarious. Okay. And I guess the randomization of the levels has less holes as you go on. Makes sense. Because that do... this one has like one, two, one, two, three, four. I like one, that two, it's three, randomized. It just one, two, adds three. this kind of extra layer to the game, which is really fun. It does. So you can't like plan ahead when you when you when you die to do the next thing. It's like no, no, you have to start again and figure out a new maze. Because it's a new anteater on a new hill, kind of. <laughs> I like the worm mechanic. That's very cool. Yeah, it is. It's, that you have to kind of kill just, it from behind, you know? Yeah, it's not just like, oh, kill everything. No. it's You have to kill things in a certain way. Um, and, and the spider is a different type of uh, uh, enemy as well. And has the randomization of uh, ant speeds, too. Some of them are... None of them are super fast in these first levels. But there's slow ones, and then there's like medium speed ones mostly slow yeah it's a pretty good game balance now uh oh i'm fucked i'm uh, fucked no no there you go no oh you went straight for it oh i'm an idiot worm is like the tanks in robot city yes oh robot city that needs to be finished oh please who's making robot city is it you is it you thomas finish that game it's unbelievable it's so close to being done. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, no. There we go. Yes. Yes. Yeah, finish finish Robot City or, or keep going on it. Because um, that's, that's such a great, great game. Um, where you shoot tanks in a city in a maze, oh, and you can shit. only shoot them from behind, and there there's like three or four of them, and they can shoot you from anywhere, but you have to sneak up on them. It's like, it's kind of like Pac-Man again. It's another maze game, um, but with shooting. Um, but it's like, yeah, he's like the worms. It's directional. It's such such a fun mechanic. And, and of course the mechanic of the spider coming after dark is is great too. It's like, no, you can't just sit here and eat ants yeah, all it's day like, long. Yeah, it's like, it's neat. I like it that it adds this kind of... Um, Ticking clock. Know, yeah, element, but yeah. it doesn't feel hacky. Like, it doesn't feel no. like, you know... It feels real. It's like there's a sun, it's setting, and then the spiders come it's out. It's like part of the mood and tone of the whole thing. Yeah. Ooh, back, back, back. I, don't, I didn't think you were going to make it to the bottom. Nah. No. Um, so I watched uh, watched a movie the other day. Do you want to... Sure. Yeah, I'll go for it next, this one. Okay, cool. I'm just going to go to my notes for... I uh, watched a movie called Easy to Learn, Hard to Master, The Fate of Atari. Whoa, okay. This is uh, definitely on message. And I was like, oh my god, that's, that's awesome. I get to learn all about uh, early days of Atari. Um... How was the dog? It, they interviewed all the right people, like all the right people, all the early people who uh, worked at Atari. Um, uh, Nolan Bushnell. Um, see, I forget all the names. Terrible with names. Um, so a lot of the early programmers. Um, they asked them. I, th I think they got all the topics right for the movie. Like, they, they hit on the right things. Um, it did bounce back and forth. It kind of stayed with topics rather than um, timeline. And so it did jump back and forth a little bit in terms of uh, in terms of time. Try the wi mild, wild modes. Yeah, everybody's seen this, I guess. Um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, let's, let's go to wild, wild one good because idea. this will show off um, all the new there rocks. Dude, oh okay, God. shit's getting real now. Hey, Melton Buddhist, hey, welcome dude. to the show. It's We're playing the final retail version. <laughs> kind of jostles. Oh, one. that's so great. And why wouldn't there be rocks? <laughs> like, you know? Yeah. Or why is there this perfectly intricate maze? Uh, yeah, exactly. That's so funny. 
I love the anime. Oh, the oh, they nasty. pass through it. Ooh. Uh, so they have a little bit of an advantage. Careful there. up top. Yeah. So let's play this properly. I was just messing around with the rocks. Um, yeah, the rocks really uh, add a new layer to this hole because you can't go through the whole level. You have to go around it on both sides. Well, it's just this becomes a real labyrinth now. It's oh, not like yeah. it's not just uh, you know. Uh, you know, clearing everything methodically. You gotta calculate like really a direction think. now. Oh my god, that is a lot harder. Ah, ah too far. Like a little video game UID, <laughs> IUD. Yes, yeah, it blocks your tongue. It's true, man. That is one way of putting it. If this had come out, it would have been so simplified in 4K. I love to see what what uh, it can be. What it can be here. 4K. Oh my! Is that the what the original prototype was? Is 4K? Whoa. Live and laugh on the edge. Oh yeah. Um, but the uh, the film. Uh, it had a, a narrator. Who See, I'm has... not into narration in docs, but I it can be done. It, it can be done if it's the right. Michael right. Moore doing his own narration, or like Werner Herzog doing his yeah. own, but it feels like when they hire like a like a like a kind of like someone with a cool voice. Yeah, and it, like and has something Atari to add to video it. games. Where, not that that's like what they were doing, but I didn't like his voice, which was the the least of the problems. Um, he didn't add anything. He actually said what was on this. Oh, I don't know if this is much easier. <laughs> <laughs> Still hard. I want my original joystick back. I know. I know it. I know. Use diagonals. It's not easy. Because we're using a game pad and you have to... It's like it's like when um, actors ah. do like commentary for their movies and they just describe what's happening in the scene. And they, that's what they did, unfortunately. It's like... They were just describing what's about to come on the screen. The, the Total Recall Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger like commentary is the most hilarious version of that. Where he's <laughs> is just, that what he does? Yeah, he just describes and he explains like the plot points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's where I kick, <laughs> kick that guy's ass. It's literally what it is. It's like <laughs> clips of it on YouTube. It's so hilarious. Because he recorded it like 20 years after he made the movie. Oh. So he had nothing to do. That he, he just sat there drunk describing it. <laughs> Probably can't remember the plot. Yeah, or he's like, the this is Richter. Or... <laughs> it's just like, oh, I wish I had a good Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Just up my, up my like. Your Austrian is not so good. No. <laughs> he, and he's also just there's no one like that talks like him. You know, he's kind of Austrians. Like... He's got his own way. You know. He is unique. There's um the Pumping Iron documentary about oh, him. I haven't seen that. Is that really good? It's incredible. It's to be pretty good. Uh, because it's like it's it's a complete character study of him. Like it's mm. like his own and the, and the kind of like bullying and psychological warfare he's been doing. He does to people. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Is him just like really, really Probably. doing. But in any case, sorry. Well, off off message. Oh. Tell me more about the dog. Um, yeah, they, they go from the, uh, early video games of Atari and, like, uh, Pong and where they got Pong from and the guy, uh, where they, oh my god, um, all the way up to the, the crash of, uh, 83, 84, um, of, of the video game market and Atari's kind of downfall at that point, um, Maybe they had to do it in the order I, they did, or because it worked better narratively. Um, I don't think so. I think they could have stuck to um, doing it in chronological order. I didn't see a reason why they did it that way. The narrator would didn't add anything. He had a uh, a Texan accent. It sounded like Hank Hill. Had no enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, apparently, I looked him up, and the narrator narrated two other video game movies. That, you got. Um, that I haven't seen, and I probably won't see because I yeah. just can't deal with that narrator. That's just an aesthetic I'm not a huge fan of myself at all. No. I'm just not so into like. And when I set out to make my film, uh, I, one of the first things was like, we're not having a narrator. Yeah, I thousand percent agree. And but because it was made, oh, uh -oh. because it was made in, with that in mind. Uh, we ask the ask the questions knowing that we won't have a lead-in to these questions. Like, the person we're interviewing has to make a full sentence, not an 
not a yes, blah, blah, blah. No, you have to say the, the question, uh, the answer in the question. And you just tell the interview person that that's what you're doing. Yeah, man. But maybe they wanted a, uh, an interviewer. It's a, I it's, mean, a narrator. I think of it as more, it's more of a classical um, oh, approach. It's old school. It's old school and it's very kind of news, you know, that whole like anchor thing too. It's like, it's an older media yeah. kind of aesthetic. Uh, Whoa. Okay. That was a miracle. That was some water turned into wine On right purpose, there. purpose, but also a miracle at the same time. Yeah, the rocks. This is hard, man, because you've got to seriously. It's just there's only so much you can do. It, they just add a lot more um, time that you have to spend clearing a level. Um, it's caterpillars and everything. Yeah. Oh, no, Milton Boone, there's nothing wrong with the Texan accent. The Texan ac accent oh, is no. beautiful. Oh, no, Texan accent's amazing. It just happened to be that this guy we didn't like was it's an individual thing. I, I I'll think tell one of the you most, what. I think one of the most beautiful really accents in the whole world is um, is a southern accent. Actually, I, I, I really liked when I went to Texas. Uh, when I went uh, to Dallas, Texas, it was like, oh, these, this accent's really yeah. cool. And especially... Um, it, oh, you bastard. Especially with girls. As soon as a girl starts yeah. talking in a southern accent, I'm like... <laughs> You're done. I'm in, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't diss it. It was this, per this specific guy's accent. It was just really boring. Like Hank Hill narrating a documentary. Can you imagine that? Just like oh. very monotone. Yeah, it's not... And it, and it didn't serve anything. It's like this... He said exactly what was about to happen. Um, anyway, I didn't like it. I like the content of it. I like, like what they, uh, get down there. Yeah, this is challenging, man. Especially when the spiders come out. Oh, yeah. Ah, this is not easier. <laughs> yeah. And it's uh, like, I'm still dead. It's Hail Mary you just did right there. It's yeah, like... I'm still dead. Oh, maybe not. Not necessarily. Depends what happens next. Oh, okay, that was... The caterpillar and red ants behave different in wild modes. Okay. I love that. That's, That's very good. cool. They should be. It should be wild. It should be crazy. Yeah. Um, anyway, I give it a thumbs down. I give it a... It's hard to say. The movie, not f the... Not the movie, the not this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. I don't want to confuse that. Um, give a... I, I, don't, I don't know. They, they picked all the right people... Right idea, wrong execution, let's say. I think it could have been take the exact same um, interviews and re-edit the film, I and think, it could be amazing. I really think with documentaries, like, I've always felt this way, that with documentaries, oh. they're, they're, hey. they're, both, hey. they're both easier and harder at the same time. I think it's yes. easier to very quickly get something interesting with a documentary. Yes. But I think to really tell a great story <gasps> is... runs away. <gasps> Bast! Oh, look at them! This is very cool, man. Look at the... I'm going to get this guy. <laughs> 150. But if you're on the same level, he's like, no, I'm going to... Look. Yeah. What? Look at that. Look at that. He's trapped. He doesn't know what he's doing. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> I confused him. Oh, when you do that, he's so confused. Oops. That is hilarious. Is that on purpose? It has Did to I be. Did I find a fun bug? Uh, it's wild just, you just two. glitch in their AI. They just don't know what's going on. Yeah, I this guess... This feels similar to one, but maybe not. We'll find out. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be just harder. Like a harder version of, of wild one. Boom! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I almost died there. That was very, very close. He stays maximum distance. Ah, uh, uh, that's it's. Yeah, I but guess he's, it's but like he's not. He I think freaks he's, out. I think he's looking for the decision that you'll make, and that decides what he'll do. Uh, that's my bet because it seemed like when you retracted. So I think when you're in between decisions, it's like a shrouded cat. You know, it's it like was. he's both he's both going left and right at the same time, and doesn't and therefore is standing <laughs> still. <laughs> Atari game over was good. Oh, have I seen that one? I can't remember.
remember. Yeah, if there's any really check. good docs about this stuff, that would be cool to know. You know? Yes, please. I'd love to watch these honestly, because I'd like to. I'd like to get more educated about this this uh, system, because clearly I'm the kid who like was like, look at this curved thing, James. <laughs> like, yeah, it's good to know the history of of what you're what you're getting into. Yeah, and it's I mean, also you don't it's... have to like we're talking about homebrews here. They're modern. Things. Oh yeah, but it's just interesting stuff, man. Like, it is. Also, like, I've always been interested in retro games, actually. Like, yeah. even watching, like, the Angry Video Game Nerd <laughs> oh, as a kid, um, which is funny to as think that kid. I was a kid watching oh him. Oh, my God. But yeah. now I, was, I should say teenager is a better way, a yeah. more accurate description. But then also, I remember, like, when I was a little kid, there was this thing called um, Game On, which was this expo that came to the city I was in, and it and displayed all expo, these... Yeah. yeah, and it was just, like... Lone Bushnell lost his college tuition in a poker game. Oh, it didn't talk about that. I did, or did it? It talked about his gambling. Dude, gambling uh, addiction is, gambling is, a, is one of the toughest ones, man. Yeah. Eating disorders and gambling addiction are two of the hardest things to deal with in life. Here. And I can totally understand gambling addiction because we're in Vegas and it's like, oh, it's so much, like, it's fun. Like, you can win a lot. And, totally. and by just one play. Um, so it's always like, oh, just one more, just one more. Just well, one and more. like the whole Vegas game is hilarious, right? Because they got oxygen bars. Oh, they like yeah. they have no it's clocks. Like they do everything they can. Like no here, windows. Like do you want some free liquor? Let's get you drunk. <laughs> like it's like let's, they know exactly what they're lower doing. Lower your over inhibitions there. of of what you're about to do. Totally, and they're just like. I, I've Your always I've always found it to be a very sad, dark place. Actually, oh, oh yeah, definitely. especially when you get into like some of the, like off the strip kind of stuff. And you... Oh, and just gets there's nothing but the gambling. Like totally. there's no entertainment that comes with it. And everything smells like years of encrusted cigarette smoke. Oh, they they yeah. haven't managed to figure out what to do with, and <laughs> they have and, to rip up the carpets and, and deodorize the place. And these people place. don't look happy. You know, you oh, see, no. occasionally you see people that have just gotten to Vegas and they look stoked. And then there's oh, those other it. people that are just, you know, they've been there for like, you know, especially when you get into the slot machines and you look over and someone's just like a zombie, just pulling the thing, just pushing in. Oh, know. oh, there was some changes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The... So Wild One, one has hill. five lives. Lot of wild four Two has four lives. Wild Three has three lives. And then your extra like life comes Ramps way higher. Up. So I guess this is like... This and there's the... way more rocks. Look, there's a rock on every level in this. Almost on every on this one. So it's harder and harder. Damn. <laughs> so you get less lives. It's harder to get extra lives. And it's harder in general. Also, I feel like sometimes when I'm ordering stuff from Amazon, I like feel like I understand like how gambling is because you're like you're plugging in a number and you're you're not th necessarily thinking you're just like oh i want this and you kind of right. like push into numbers and then sometimes you'll get things and you'll be like wait i spent I this, this amount of money on this like if i were actually in a store looking at a product i don't know if i would have done it but there's something like disassociative about it and i think it's the same with gambling where people like they don't think that they're actually gambling and that's yes. why they have chips right yes it's like you, and you, tickets and yeah it's, it's like not I, real money it's like when i was in china and i had to convert everything to sort of the chinese currency it was hard to know exactly what i was spending because it was a different currency right it's the same with chips it's ah, like you don't think about these good. things being like real yeah it's things. like it's it's like that's also what they what so they try to do with these video game markets too. Of like, you know, you want to have Microsoft oh, points, or yeah, they, they try to like put it in a currency that isn't something, so you don't necessarily it's, understand it's, what you're spending, and it feels smaller, like Even you're not though spending, it isn't. or you like you get a thousand for a dollar or something. Totally, and then all of a sudden you're like, this is only blah blah blah, and it's not. It's like, whoa, you're and, spending a lot of money, and anything to kind of get you like not really aware of what you're doing is the game. Oh yeah! Oh my God! And look at what I have to do to get back. I have to go all the way down the other side of those rocks. Yeah, or wrap up somehow, oh, which man. is like how how is that gonna? Happen? Oh yeah, wrap up. Yeah. It's like not gonna. It's a hard game, man, because you you're like at eight thousand. You haven't even beaten the first one. You're almost dead. <laughs> and I'm and I have no. You have no recourse. You just gotta like you just gotta power. get it done. Uh, go, 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 go! Ooh, okay, good. It's in pixels. Yeah, this is hard. 
I'm excited for you to see the Joker movie. I want to hear what you think about it. Yeah, I'll have to go see that very soon. So nobody talk anything I'll, about it. Of course. Um, but Not even good, bad, loved it, nothing. I don't want any expectations being lowered or raised. I want to stay, like, absolutely neutral. Yeah, man. But also you got cool stuff going on, so it's all good. That's the nice thing about movies these days is it's not that much of a difference between going to the theater or watching ah. it in your home, you know? Um, and it's like, it's obviously nice to do it, but like, it is that thing where it's like, you know? Yeah. I mean... Because it, it used to be that thing where it was like, they're just fundamentally oh like... The hell? There we go. That is hard. Yes. Um... Yeah, it's because our home systems are, are decent very decent and the now. stories there. And it's, and it's a character study, so it's a bit of a different yeah, thing. Yeah, it's not an know? explosion. Well, stop talking about it. Don't yeah. even say that. No, yeah. but I'm just saying Don't like... Don't say character study. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean like it's not Avatar, you know what I mean? Like no. Avatar is like, it'd be stupid to watch that. In Green screen-tastic. Or like Transformers is like a fun movie in the theater, but like why would you ever want to watch it at home? It's like if you have your popcorn and Don't you're watching watch some... Yeah. Crazy big, you know, with that sound ah. system and the crazy score and everything. Yeah. It's like it's like that's the only time yeah. that it's even worth considering watching. No, maybe if you're a visual effects artist. Well, you know, it's like it's a, it's a, it's. I feel like it's the it's like, like. Would you ever make a movie like that? Probably if you're handed a pile of cash. Um, I think I would probably. I would. I would naively try to do it well, and probably. You know, it's yeah. like it's like the ring, right? You're given the ring, and you believe you'll do good with it. Oh, and in the yeah. end, you'll just I <laughs> get will corrupted. Be a powerful queen. It's right. And it's rule like, everything and be. You know, it's that's the problem benevolent? is, is you, no. you think that like you'll do good i mean i would it would be interesting to try and do something with it but i mean all these but even ah. like the new star wars right like ryan johnson's beautiful director who ended up you know right. getting filleted <laughs> and really is probably will never have the same career post that so it's always it's hard yeah. to know right it is hard to know but but i don't you know, i you're like stepping into something you already know it's like i like i the and it, it's hard oh to know, God. right? Because on one hand, why do do that? Go ahead. Uh, oh, <laughs> on one hand, those movies are very cool because they are like you have all the toys in the world to play with. You have all the technology. You have you know the greatest people in the world working on them. Yes. So that like, would be all the resources at your availability. So much money to hire the best writers ever. They and never the, do. the best vis effects people. But I, then I think I think they actually do hire really good writers. I hire all good people. But then it's um, decisions by committee. Totally. And there's like, just too we need much. This in it. We need this in it. And every five minutes, it's got to be explosions or and people I, will fall asleep. And I think the marketing side is really brutal. Like it's like I was joking about like Infinity War. It's like you can just see like who's getting paid what and then even those Transformers movies right it's like oh I'm, I'm thinking Ford <laughs> just promoted this movie because every oh, one yeah. of the cars well, is a do. certain they did you know it's like and I think that would be the hard part is when you're doing scenes where it's like here we're selling That's like Wild 3 you know here we're selling like you know Axe body spray in this scene you know it's like maybe oh. Wild 1 yeah I'm like I don't know that's that's like is... I apparently have to find out what the Red Ant does because I have not figured that out yet and I haven't. I have no idea. Uh, I thought the red ant... Oh, red ant in their yeah, normal dude, Sir, mode. Sir Cat Legs brought up a great point, which is my local theater got heated reclined seats on an IMAX screen in a experience. Well, yes. Experience. And that is a, a big difference between yeah. your house, which you have reclined seats Definitely. that are heated. But, um... But but I I feel like my point was just there's some movies that are just worthless to watch outside of the theater because they are just like a roller coaster ride and it's kind of like let's have this roller coaster ride in my home. Uh it's yeah. Like, uh, there are some very good reasons to watch them at home. Basically, people. Yeah. And how terrible people are. Ah. And how annoying they can be. But usually if you go opening night, and it depends on the movie, too, that you go to and what type of clientele they attract. Like, if it's going to be uh, Fast and the Furious uh, 22 on the uh, f uh, second week, uh, they're not going to be caring too much about your experience No, there. man. They're going to be talking through it. It's not a cinematic uh, masterpiece that everybody's, like, really intense about. They're yeah. Joking around with their friends and on their phones and 
Yeah. It's going to be a nightmare. Like, but, I, 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 mean, I love I, watching, like, every J.J. Abrams movie in the theater. And then I watch them at home, and I'm just like, oh, this doesn't make sense. I'm just <laughs> running and screaming from place to place. But in the theater, it's, yeah. like, it's very fun. And, and that's not a criticism of action movies in general. There are very, very good action movies that have been made. Absolutely. <laughs> like Die Hard. Die Hard's um, amazing. Robocop is so good. Yeah. First Robocop is <laughs> because great. Because it has um, commentary Mad on Max society. Mad Max movies are killer, you know. Oh, yeah. Like the perfect example of it's almost pure action is Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, man. It's just insanity. But it weaves in so much social commentary in the visuals um, <laughs> that it doesn't even need to you know they don't even need to talk there were uh, versions put on the internet uh, <clears throat> that uh, completely got rid of all the talking in it yeah it's... and it's still an unbelievable film like they turned it black and white and took out all the talking kept just the score in okay there's a red ant okay. oh I am turned around fire over every time no Careful about up top, dude. Yeah. Thank you. Because he kind of... Oh, he just turned around. I think visual storytelling is much closer to sort of a pure cinema. No. I don't know what it's, he's doing. It's, it's, uh... Oh, my God. oh no. Why did I do that? <clears throat> they wa I watched Oils Well when I got the idea for The Rocks. They uh, have some dead ends and mazes I wanted to do. Same for art That's yeah. a really intelligent really choice, smart. man. I it think The Rocks changes... changes yeah. It's, it's how, like, it's one design choice completely affects... Because you're right, it becomes a labyrinth now. Versus before, it was uh, more far. like Pac-Man, where yes. you just have to sort of, like, finish... There's no obstacles. It's like, could you imagine Pac-Man with rocks? Different, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I... It's like, no, you can't go that way right I now. I never could have imagined it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, like, I want to play that game. <laughs> yeah. It, it really... I want to try really... out Pac-Man with rocks, and that's totally what you added... Because it's, the other one is, like, it just limits your um, choices. Yeah. And especially for, like, getting Not more in a bad way, for in your a butt. challenging Absolutely. way. And Absolutely. And I love that it's, you know... Damn it. What am I doing? It's scalability, and that's a really challenging uh, thing to do with a game. The red ant turned around. I think he kind of, like, changed directions. But he does that normally. I, but it's like, why does he change direction? Do I affect him changing directions? I, I couldn't see. I, I went on the level, went away from the level. He didn't change. Um, trying to figure it out, but I can't. Yeah, to wait till another red ant comes on the screen and experiment with him. <laughs> see if you can see what the red ant does. I haven't seen another one yet. Uh oh. Time to get down to the bottom. Uh oh. Yeah, you gotta start getting serious about <laughs> killing some of these guys, cause. the controller <laughs> yeah you got this man oh yeah maximize points <sighs> boom die red amp smart <laughs> smart yeah it has nothing to do with direction oh shit let's see we'll we'll check it out next time man oh did he bump into a rock maybe he bumped into that's a rock. possible that would be badass that would be very cool because the other ones get past the, the, the other rock. ones are going through the rocks right yeah well there's no rock on that red oh no spot. okay so we're gonna keep an eye we'll out see. for him We'll see if he uh, goes to another level and changes. Die. Take that. Uh, no, he's still in the same level. Maybe he's... Ah! <laughs> I love the animation of jiggling the rock. That is a nice addition. Oh my god. Too bad you can't break through the rock. <laughs> If you, can you kill the red ones from behind? I think you can kill them from the front, too. You can. Yeah. Yeah, you can kill it's them from the front, behind. I think behind. they're the same as, as, as regular ants. They're yeah. just, like, red and have some change that we still got to figure out. We got some there, riddle. There's one. Okay. He's Let's on see. a rock. Let's see. Is he going to bump into it? That would be badass. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't think he is, though. No. no I went through it. Damn it. Okay. So, it's nothing to do with us. Okay. Here's, here he is again. He's just Carl's walking from both directions, like all ants. Yeah, definitely. He just changed directions. Did I? Because I went to the top. No. Dude, I just realized a detail which I hadn't noticed before. When you eat an ant, it fires up and almost goes into his esophagus. Oh yeah. Look at that! It's like. 
I can't remember. It's like 26 frames of animation. Yeah, it kind of fire, and you can see has. it goes down his throat into his stomach. That's so oh, intense because I've never like actually looked at that. Yeah, just watch that anteater. It has. It's so well it's animated. It's amazing. Game pads is is not the right thing for this, and sensitive joysticks are also not the right thing for this game. A, a, a normal kind of mushy joystick would be very good. Yeah, and it's where also it's difficult to get the angles. Because yeah. then you can just like really go with it. In both directions, just like the ant. Okay. It's also just, just a possible difference. It's also just getting used to it too. I don't I know. What the, there's two red ants. Look, he just changed direction. Why? I don't know. <laughs> there's another one. He says it's not about. It's not about direction. Not about me. He said it's not. It's not about direction. I have no idea then. You no have, idea. You might have to let us know. You might have to let us know. I, I can't see. Maybe it's obvious by the time you tell us. Well, it'll be obvious when you tell us, but I don't. I just don't see it. I, he, there, he bounced into the but he wall. He said it's not about direction, so. Oh, God. Ah! Uh, uh, oh. He that's... bounced into the edge there and came back. Oh, that's interesting. So maybe he does that. He, go, he takes two passes. Oh, we got two ones now. No, so he just changed direction in the middle of the level. He's going to bounce. No, he wraps oh, so around. Is that it? He wraps around? Let's watch that next red ant down there. Is he going to wrap around? Yep. Yes. Okay, so what did the nor that ra normal ant wraps around too? I don't know. They all wrap around. That guy wrapped around and half the score was off the screen and half it was on the other side, which is very amazing program. So here's by the one. Way. Yeah. But look at the other, the other ants do that too. <laughs> See the the little caterpillar just. Uh, Carl G is like they're worth 150 instead of 100. Well, that's for uh, sure a difference. <laughs> it is, but that's how it's always been, I believe. Oh, it's getting dark. I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Ah. Well, you made it so far in like the wild level, man. I couldn't even get to this <laughs> far, in, like without. Obstacles. Wild's a good practice, that's for sure. Wild's a great practice. Yeah, if you practice. went back to the original, I think you would just, like, it would be a different game. No, oh, I almost so made close, it. That man. must have been a fast ant. It just did it, and you did not notice. Oh! Well, because we were, like, about to die. Did it move a rock? What did it do? Did oh. it... It must have... It must, like, do something. This is where we gotta something. clip that and, like, look back at it. Oh, or God. Something. What did I do? Oh, you're... you're oh, I... Oh, I have to clean up the last... What am I doing? Just hanging around. Okay. I'm being pedantic. Sorry. No, nah, yeah. man. He's being hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to go down the middle. Yeah, good call. <clears throat> well, let's watch for the red ants again. We'll play once more. Um, I don't know uh, what else to say. We This is unbelievable. I mean, yeah, and we've, we've visited this game um, several times, and every yep. time we touch base, it's better. Like, it's amazing. Yeah. There's more options. Yeah. I mean, um, and also, like, it's one of those games that's very playable, man. It's oh, yeah. It's just, like, I don't care, like, your experience level. You pick you it up quickly. You can understand it right away. And that now with your wild levels and these additions that you've made, um, it's very scalable. Like, it's, like, it has an end game to it. Like, if you yeah. wanted to make it harder, you can you can push as far as you want, you know? Um, you yeah. Got the, you got the classic arcade mode, and I love games that you can kind of, you know, there's an end game to them, you know? Because yeah. a lot of games, when you finish them, it's like, well, I guess that's it, and it's over. And yeah, like... and, and there's no more challenge, but uh, I'm loving these additions that people are putting on these games, like, say, um, John Champo's Galaga, where it's a two player, he's added a two player option to it. That's like it's that nice. just ramps up the the amazingness of and to take things like a step farther, you know, is always a good thing. You don't want to go somewhere new. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, that kind of divides. So challenging. Ah, get to it. No. Ah. Started. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't start it with hill two. Sorry. I was like, oh, I gotta make it to. Yeah, we gotta push to. Let's go to hill three because I think I made it there before. Watch those red ants. They've got green feet. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna keep my eye on. I'm gonna watch the red ant. Because it has nothing to do with us. That's all so. I'm doing. Maybe I shouldn't eat it. I don't know. Oops. Oh. No red ants in the first hill yet. 
So I won't kill the red ants. Because I don't think it is anything Maybe they interact with the other ants. That's maybe. an idea. Like, maybe when a red ant meets another ant, something happens. This is my guess. Well, they're never on the same, uh, same level. Only worms and ants are on the same level. Okay. So maybe when it, that's maybe not when, it. Maybe when it finds it. Something to do with the number of things eaten? Does it replace? Does it, like... Yeah, don't kill this. Does it put things down? Oh, it does! Yes! Oh, oh my god! There okay. we go, dude. Okay, fuck yeah. We finally figured it out. There we go. So it replaces. Is that only in the wild mode? That must be... Okay, that's a big deal. I can't believe... We took us fucking, like, nine years to figure <laughs> that out. We're like, duh, this changes direction. It's probably because we were staring at it, oh, staring well, at it on a level that it wasn't being... Well, you just get that so, was full all of a it's sudden. It's just hard because you got to try to like beat the game. So it's like you're so focused on like Look, all the attacks. Dios, Kios said it at the same time we did. They saw it, yeah. Add eggs. Oh, oh it's not doing it right now. Look at that. Probably not till we start. There. There we go. Now, is it directional? Like a certain direction? Does it run out of eggs? Let's see. It's, oh, it's adding it again. <clears throat> Does it add it on a Bingo. level? Bingo, yeah, we yeah. Na finally nailed that it. That is a great That's mechanic. That's a cool detail, man. Thanks for getting us to, like, focus in on that, because seriously. Yeah, because that's, like, a big deal, <laughs> is adding stupid eggs back again. Okay, I gotta get down. I gotta get serious here. about killing this spider, man. Yeah, get down, get down. Oh, no! Ah! So hard. Uh, yeah, let's well, you... play bingo. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've just been kind of like, we've been trying to figure out this red ant thing, and now and now it's like almost too late, because it's like, <laughs> you got to clear half the screen, and it's like nighttime, and yeah. it's possible. Okay. Let's just take a moment. Yeah, Whoa, good. it's like nine. It's three things on the same level. That's really, really good. Oops. Uh-oh, that's okay. A little bit early, but oh, I gotta go all the way around this rock. But there's not many left, so. Hooray! So, sitting at the bottom to kill ants all at once with a queen may not work. Uh, it's worked no? so far, but you're good. you're. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the programmer on that one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> when uh, in when in I'm doubt, sure. believe the programmer. Uh, it resets everything all at once. When the maze is almost cleared. Interesting. Oh, because of the red ant. That's what he's saying. Because the red ant will start adding things back. Yeah, so you gotta be very careful. Ah, oh, dude. Yeah. That's a, that's very smart. Because it may be way up This is up like, top. now it becomes a Sisyph like a Sisyphusian type yeah. experience. You're just rolling you boulders up hills. And... Yeah, it just keeps adding it back. It's at some times. I don't Not know the, quite the, the pattern yet of why, or, or when it does it and when it doesn't do it. Like, it's not doing it there. Or maybe when it's on levels, after it touches... Oh, I think it's when it touches one. And then it can start laying them again. Like, it's not doing it right now. I think as soon as it touches one, it'll turn around, maybe? And, and start then start to, like, laying do its it. thing. Yeah, but so far it hasn't been able to, to do that. Nope. No, no, didn't do it. Interesting. Yeah, that, and the other one seems to be okay too. It's definitely harder than the demo because I was wrapping the demo <laughs> around and around infinitely. So this is much, uh, much more challenging, obviously. <clears throat> oh, night time! Yeah, good enough. There we go. Yeah. When the maze is al so s when the maze is almost cleared, yeah. Still don't know. It wasn't doing. It wasn't adding anything. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know what <clears throat> has to happen for it. To maybe it's at night. It doesn't. Oh. And like at the daytime, maybe it's different. Or maybe the opposite. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know yet. I just have to watch. The next red ant do its thing. There's a red ant on a level that's fully cleared. Oh, now he's laying it. Hey, you buddy. Hey, stop that. So it's daytime, so that's not it. And that guy didn't add any. Yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Is it? Oh, okay. 
here. Oh, I think we got to switch over. What, it's like 12, so 30? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've been playing this a lot. Okay. So, obviously, unbelievable. Amazing. Um, definite insta-buy. I will oh, be yeah. um, picking this up. Portland Retro Gaming Expo and bringing it back and showing everybody the box and the manual on the first day back. Yeah, this is like which a, is a Wednesday. Buy, dude. You'll be there. Because seriously, <laughs> also for like your like nieces and nephews or kids, like it's something oh, yeah. that like you know you can throw this on the easy mode and play it, and and then if people want to get better at it, you can get harder and harder. It's very cool. Oh, and I didn't put the little graphic. Oh, because I turned it off. Park. <laughs> back just for a moment just for a moment um yeah and it's it's got that level of graphics that they're really really good that somebody would not be like ooh, blocks on the screen uh, what does that green block do to the red block totally so somebody would just think it oh it's it's a retro game it's an 8-bit game like i play on on my phone right um so it's it's got a level of graphics and uh um, a complexity that somebody can easily pick it up and they won't like reject it immediately yeah. as an old game, right? So it's unbelievable, great stuff. There we go. So that, oh, Nathan Strum made it. Yep, you made it just in time to miss yeah, Aardvark. We've, we've been playing it for like for an hour and an a hour. half. <laughs> we've been, it's been awesome. Yeah, it's been Probably amazing. more like an hour because like we great stuff, hour Nathan. intro. <clears throat> um, it's great additions, especially the wild modes. For sure. Um, with the rocks and the ants that add back to the screen. The eggs, which throws a wrench in your plans when you're trying to clear the screen. Um, obviously, the hard and the easy mode. So it's it's wonderful. And, and it's I, addictive. It's just, yeah. you want it's one of those, uh, one more time. I'll just do one more. Let's yeah. see if I can beat it. Yeah. So when we get um, the full version back, we'll... We'll play for points rather than play for discovery because yeah. we're mostly playing for discovery there. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun and, and checking through the manual and everything. Um, Wednesdays okay. are meeting days at work. Oh, that's yeah, the worst. Sort of Tell mid them to move it. Yeah, midday <laughs> stuff. stuff. <laughs> they should move it to Tuesdays or Thursdays when the show isn't on. Um, yeah. Let them know that one of your favorite shows um, that you watch at work um <laughs> is on and they should definitely not have the meetings during yeah, your that time. work is really interfering with my <laughs> entertainment time i think that <laughs> definitely but uh obviously awesome work oscar and uh, nathan and uh thomas um i definitely think that's uh, it's going to be a huge seller at the atari age booth and the um the boxes looks amazing too. oh yeah and even yep. just the, i mean i know it's not you guys but even just the name the design the <laughs> yep. anteater the concept this is great stuff everything yeah so we're gonna play panic on the pug farm and this <gasps> yes. is a world exclusive premiere uh out of the blue uh the programmer uh, got in contact with me i never talked with uh, dan Leroy before um he's never released a game before on the atari 2600 wow. that i know of it's not documented anyway he's not on the atari age forums um he didn't post this on any of the facebook groups he just directly contacted me so this is exclusive it's super exclusive that's so good man. um so that's pretty pretty interesting it's great uh, great that people are, are trust me with their with their babies to to yeah. unveil them to the world uh, in ferris uh, I, uh, I asked how to find it too Charlie Coleslaw. Welcome, Charlie Coleslaw. What a name, dude! I love it. Yeah. Um, Can't so, say coleslaw is my favorite, but I, I I like it. Depends how it is, how it's made. And they've got some great graphics here. So this uh, has never been posted. This is from September twentieth, two thousand nineteen. Brand new. It's four K game. Uh, this is his first game. This is not available. Maybe he'll. I've I've encouraged him to join the Atari Age forums so uh, everybody else can play the game or talk about it. Um, and we've never played this before. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Um, maybe I should be focused on this. And there we go. Panic <laughs> on the Pug Farm. <laughs> okay. So there's you. You're the uh, farmer. And there's the pug who's running away. Damn. Pug has very long legs. Um, so it looks like a little monkey pug, you know, that could be mistaken for a monkey. 
Yes. It's great. Uh, some background on the game. It's called Panic on the Pug Farm, and it was written to be a 4K game. Our intention was to make it authentic as possible, so that it would be something that could have been made back in the 80s. I love it. So, go for it. Oh, I gotta... Oh, I think it's... it's I gotta do that. Um, so you gotta get... The pugs are trying to escape. You have to go up to the right, um, and you have to get some fence, and they're gonna be destroying the fence. So what do I do? I just... Place the fence part down. How do down. I do it? There. Oh, there we go. And that's the game. I run. I gotta get my fence. Is yep. it always here? Yep, always there. And you gotta put the fence where the pugs have scratched okay. it away. And and if there isn't a fence there, they're gonna run through, run away out of pugs. your pug farm. Because uh, obviously you are uh, a breeder, <laughs> a pug Ooh, breeder, dark. or you just have a bunch of pugs that you that oh, that look. really hate you and want to escape from look, you. Look, this one's gone. Oh goddamn it. Gone. I lost a pug. I'm going to turn it up. Sorry. There we go. Oh, oh. oh, actually, it's on the keyboard. Oh, nice. I can do things when you're using a joystick. Uh, uh. Oh, can't go down. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. I think it's just because you were highlighted over yeah. it, so it was kind but of But you can mostly to... control it? That's really weird. Oh. Ground Trooper says, wow, this is great. Yeah, it's a very old school uh, playing and looking type of game. But actually, it's it's not. Like, look at the the graphics at the top. The silo and the barn and the trees are come on, really come really on. nice. Okay, good. Block that pug. But he is oh, relentless. I think my guy doesn't really move fast enough for it. It's dark. dark <laughs> days. Okay, okay. Come oh, you on. blocked that pug. I did, but more are coming. Oh, Endless no, pugs. I'm losing my pugs. Oh, you're in the red now. I'm gonna admit it. Pugs are very weird looking dogs. They're beautiful <laughs> dogs. But well, they're bred. Uh, they used to be wolves, to look cute. man. Oh yeah, a long time ago. Long they used to time wolves. ago. Five sixty-five. Okay. I will let you know my top score. Oh God, it's gonna be. Uh, it is twenty-nine thousand. Fuck. No. no. <laughs> uh, fifteen sixty. Fifteen sixty. So yeah. I'll let you play again. Okay. There you go. Um. So the first one that you take out, you wait for the pug. So what's in the silo on a pig farm? A pug farm? Uh, dog food, I guess? A lot of dog food? <laughs> what? Did you see that? He just turned around. <laughs> yep. Goddamn pug. <laughs> he tricked you. What are we doing? Oh, pugs. No, pugs. No, you lost one already. Baby pugs. Yeah, they're... Ba oh, I don't know. They look pretty they're full pretty grown. They're pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. But um, they have to be... Uh, they're quite a strange creature, pugs. Yeah. They have to be cut out of their uh, mother's stomachs. Yeah. Because oh. they're, they're bred so their heads are too big to give be given birth. But they're so cute. They have breathing problems their whole lives. Oh. Um, their eyes can fall out of their heads quite what easily. Did, what did we do? <laughs> Mother Why nature. did we play God? Yeah, it's a terrible life for, for pugs. It's a terrible, terrible life. Oh, it's a I'm hard knock life. I'm gonna lose for pugs. one. Oh, my pug. <laughs> oh, that one turned around too. I just lost them. I think the pugs may look better with shorter legs. Yeah, they're. I don't think they need. As quite I said, they look. Long... They look more like monkeys. Than... When they're when they're up on the fence, beautiful, great animation. Yeah, that look at looks it. really. It's good. so cute. Look at that. Yeah, that's it's so like, cute. It's adorable. But I think one pixel shorter on oh, the legs God. of the pugs would be good. So right now they look they one. like they're humans walking. It's hard that yeah. my guy is so slow. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I'm like I'm trying to like I'm trying to like, I'm trying to stop these pugs. I'm it's so hard to capture all those pug facts in the gameplay. Pug facts. <laughs> like the eyes falling out of their head dude that's gotta be a, a new segment of the show pug, pug facts. facts today's <laughs> on today's pug facts we learn that pugs eyes fall out of their head oh god um, it's so nightmarish <laughs> Poor game. so okay. i'll play and then um hold on and then you're I'll probably gonna give, i'll tell you my feedback on it and oh, what i oh, what okay. i relate to him to make it, uh, to maybe improve it, if if he thinks my suggestions are good. Well, I think you got one more pug to go before you're done. 
Yeah. Oh, and, and there's two heading, they're gone. heading for the hills. Pugs. Heading for those green pastures. What a dark time. You beat a thousand. Oh, didn't start right away. That's okay. There's a pause. Yeah, there's only one option. Yeah. It's to just wait and just lay it down as fast as possible. And now to play the race. The race against pugs. It's true. I mean, so... <gasps> Don't turn around right away. One of my first instincts about it is I wish my oh guy my could move just a tiny bit faster. <laughs> it is ah. worth, You know what I mean? And it's not one of those things where, like, you, you could make the pugs potentially, like, a little bit faster, too. But it just I feels very slow. Sluggish. Yeah. And having it to be slightly faster would at least feel like... Just faster just, overall, everything. Yeah. would be nice um and then there's some upgrades or something you know? <laughs> it's hard some bonuses some... Well, something because it's very see as soon as you place one down it turns around yeah or not not even when you place it down look at that pug it's trying oh i'm gonna lose another one that's right i think i'm gonna beat my top score here look it's all open all open it's my first attempt oh no fuck man this is like oh yeah yeah this dude, is the, the concept here's the here's, of the, the pugs. here's the thing man your background insane your concept oh, the... insane character insane yeah. you know what i mean i love your pugs i also love the 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 idea and the concept oh, yeah. behind it of like the absurdity protecting of it. your pugs who are all trying to escape <laughs> and you're just running to like get your fence like it's really cool i'm super into it yeah, and the cla the background at the top is incredible looking. The clouds, and the the barn, and the trees. Oh, I'm almost dead. Yes, it's not easy protecting the pugs from the <laughs> world, you know. <laughs> Those pugs really want to leave. Oh, that one's turned around. I won't be able to get both fence pieces. In. Multiple oh, directions to fix would be fun. That's very true. Oh, like they run to the top, run to the bottom. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to be dead out right oh, after this bug. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. But okay, the other maybe. one is... Yeah, it's over. 980. See, I did worse than you. It's terrible. Terrible. Let me see if it's I... A, it's, it's one of those games where it's like, how much, how many points can you get before you die yeah you will die but how how can how far can you get yeah i mean running faster for a bit would be awesome because it does feel like it's a very it's a fairly slow paced game so i said great graphics nice title screen chasing the pug around love the animation when they scratch at the fence post gorgeous yeah uh very cute i was able to get 1200 points on my first try and then 1560 on my second <laughs> you killed it i did i did really well obviously not as good this time I could probably get a little more, but not much more. Yeah, it's kind of like, it, it's just our guy is just a bit too slow. Um, depending on the luck when the to dogs turn around. So true, man, because as soon as these dogs turn around, you're done. Like, those two could turn around right now, and they'd escape. Like one, both of them did! One of them's going to escape. Like, it's instantly. impossible. And you've already lost a life out of four? Yeah, and four. then this guy's gonna wreck that. So, like, <laughs> what do you do? That guy could have turned around as soon as you place that fence post and leave too. Oh, you've got a chance. No, oh, now another one's gonna escape for sure. Um, in my second game, I was never not putting fences in place, so there was zero wasted times, and I was oh, I always went for the open spot that the dog was gonna pass through first. Oh, see. Right? Now it's like now two of them. Like it's you just... could not have prevented that dog from escaping. Rip. They heard you. Uh, That's right. Oh, they they can hear you do something. Like I'm trying to figure out when they turn around. Like boop, that one just turned around. But like yeah. Fine. Yeah, that's what I suggested. Uh, drop a treat to temporarily distract the dogs. Um. When starting the game, you're waiting for the pugs to destroy the gate. Yeah, look at this, dude. I'm fucked. And then you're way ahead of the pugs. Uh, and then you're racing the pugs to put the gate in place before they escape. And then it's pretty much game over as you're way behind the pugs. 
it's random it, for sure but it, it does feel it's always i think i think when a game you always have to balance uh, the rng elements with the strategy yeah is there something inherently frustrating about um feeling like your fate is not within your control and this, and this game almost is, right away this game on honestly turns into that very quickly where it's like i don't know what i can like you're dead that you won't be able to like, like this you've guy lost here. a life within 10 seconds of this game. Or they could not turn around, and I could At then... At first. And then I could just kind of, like... I could go for, like, a 1,000 points, potentially, and if none of them turned around, if it's random, you know? And that's where yeah. this game games do become frustrating, where it's like, what is the... I want to feel like I won because of my skill, not necessarily because, yep. you know, like that right there. It's like, what do I do? There's nothing I could have done. Uh, I, I think if... Say if you touch the pug, it'll send them back. That's a way to do it. Like you could touch that pug, it would send it back. But they'd still be relentless. There's a two other pugs. Yeah. So like here we know like I'm able to make a, a fairly educated choice. But here it's like so now I have to try to race this guy. Is no chance. Do you only have to go to the left side of this, the right hand side of the screen, and not up to those fences? Because that last fence piece that you got. You were pretty low. You You're right. Let's anyway. try it out. Yeah, just see. go straight that over. That would be awesome. But I don't think it's the case. No. You have to touch it. Okay. You you must have just been barely below. I Also, I found it difficult to put the fence pieces into place. You have to be quite precise. So what I ended up doing was just holding down the button. That's a good point. The whole, t the whole game and sliding myself into place vertically to find the spot. I would suggest either removing the need for a button, because what's the point? Yeah, like this here, And man. turn it into like a dog treat. Oh, see, he, he went all the way Like through. a dog treat dropping thing. Um, because you don't really need the button. Um, <clears throat> or like to chase away the dogs or scare the yeah, dogs like or here, a whistle. Yeah, like here, right? It's like right now, all I can do is Wait. block this. There and then go. are they going to turn around? I have no idea. <laughs> like that dog could turn around like right now. Right now, and then I'm fine. And so like I don't know which one makes the most sense. So like in some ways. So there you go. There. I, I kind of waited for the one. And now you're behind a little bit. Because totally. you waited. And so like am I going to be able to beat this one? Maybe. Maybe. There you go. But then this guy could turn around. Both of these guys could turn around. <sighs> like which one do you pick? <laughs> I'm going to pick the one that just. He does say you can get the fence from underneath. But. As you're moving right. But look at this, man. I'm fucked. Yeah. I just lost two, two points, and there was nothing I could do. Yeah. There was no. It was that was entirely RNG, and I made really good choices up until now. Oh, and the now walking I'm, sound is annoying. And now, so I'm, now, I'm, now I'm two down. down. That is very loud. Sorry. Uh oh. I did that. That's oh, okay. <clears throat> no worries. I'm like farmer. You gotta run faster. <clears throat> you're losing your pugs. It's a great concept for a 4K game, but there's definitely a finite amount of time you can play it before it gets impossible. To balance that out, maybe you can add a pickup that it can appear on the screen once in a while, or give you more life, or scare away oh, the see, pugs. Oh, look at this. I placed it, and then this guy turned around, and now I lost yeah. a life. Or you can scare Wrecked. away the pugs, or magically rebuild a piece of the wall, or you speed up. Something uh, to feel like I have, like, there's something I can do. Because I feel like there's a powerlessness to, like, really my fate at this yeah. point. It's kind of like, well, there's only so fast I can run. There's only, like, here we go. Like, it's like... Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna save this one, but I'm fucked. Like this guy's going through. Like yep. what? There's no, there's no way. <clears throat> so you can build the fence further to the right, saving the running distance. Maybe you could. That would be a very weird scattered fence all over the place, though. <clears throat> or the fence pieces could uh, like appear randomly. All over scattered. So that oh, yeah. I just made a bad choice. I shouldn't yes, have done did. that. I wasn't thinking. <clears throat> Uh, some other things I noticed, the game reset takes you to the title screen, and the game select starts a game, but only when you're on the title yeah. screen. This is backwards to what people would probably expect. Um, hit game, the thing if I game, like, I can't, like, select doesn't do anything right now, and then reset takes you to the title screen, and then select starts a game, which is very weird. And the button doesn't start the game, so you want to make sure the button starts the game. That's always the best, because it's like, you know. Yeah. Because it's expected, you don't want to be reaching for the, the controls on your on your twenty six hundred. So this uh, is a, again, it's very difficult to make this choice now because like which that one? one's closer on the bottom. I would go to the bottom in case he turns around, but he didn't. But, the top it, one turned around. Which was the one? I, which was the one I wanted to do initially. Yeah, but so it's kind of. But it's like, which one do you do? Which one do you pick? <clears throat> 
Uh, Smokey wrote the game? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to do that, because it's like having one is better than nothing. But this guy could turn around and then we're screwed. <laughs> um, uh, also, your line count is out of control. Yeah, 260 is fine. Uh, normally, it's 262. But, um, so this would, this would be fine. But I think in the menu and switching between. See, I just made a choice there, and then neither of them went back. So it's like great news. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, standard line count should be 262. Your title screen is 258, and the game is 260. Probably not a huge deal, but it may cause issues on some televisions. People in the forums would be able to help with this. Um, so I said thanks so much for sending okay, it Okay, so I feel like I'm doing well, but it's mostly luck. You know what I mean? <clears throat> like, I just don't... Like, here we go. Now I have some bad luck, right? Like, what do we do? Oh, who wrote what Who wrote what I... Uh, I I'm... I wrote that. This James is. That's my view. feedback. Because he played the game before. This yeah. is the first time I played it. And so it, I wanted to make sure that it was good for the show and it was like enough. Look. Like the game was finished look, enough for the show. I'm wrecked. There's yeah. nothing I can do. No. And so see now what I'm going to do is do this because in case he turned around. I. Uh, but now there's like what do we do here? There's no options. Come on. I, I, for Atari 2600 games I think you should be able to play the game indefinitely if you're good enough like there should be no end point to the game yeah i mean it gets harder oh, see, but right, you shouldn't be able to if TV. you're good enough you shouldn't be able to die Come in this on. game it's it's totally possible to die and so right now i have to make a choice and i'm yeah. going to well, die you know what i mean like i have to protect are. this guy and then those other two might or but, even or that not one. like look at this I, I got a lucky racket. Yeah, they're both going to come out. And then now I'm like, what I'm going to do is defend. Obviously. With... No, and you're dead. I'm wrecked. But <laughs> PB. Yep. 1045. That's the best, best I've been able to do. <clears throat> so what, what no, do you what... think on Atari 2600 games? You should be able to play them forever if you're good enough. Ideally, yeah. I mean, not ne it's okay. Unless, unless it's like, oh, it's an RPG and there's an end game. Like, yeah. You well, rescue the princess or whatever. Well, with this style of game, <clears throat> it's tough because... Um, this is in a genre where you should be able to really push it very far. Yeah, um, this is a short, short game. And honestly, unfortunately, because the movement's so slow, I feel like, weirdly, I'm less in control. Versus, uh, strangely, if it moved faster, I would feel more in control. Right, so just general speed up. But here's but here's the thing, um, scalability is huge, right? If our guy was faster and the pugs were slower, but then they slowly got faster and yeah. faster, well then I would feel like um, yes. there's. But the problem with there's my progression. Yeah, like right now it's, it's kind of like you have to make these decisions which are really random. just best guesses. Because like at that point I'm like, well, is this guy gonna turn around? Do I do the one? Do I bet on it turning around? Do I bet on that someone's gonna come? It's very difficult to make those choices, which is which is tough. Maybe waves, which start. which start with complete. Fa yeah, yeah, it starts over. You completed a pug attack. <laughs> yeah, you're right. right, and then it's like you know, and then also now you're on pug attack level two, and and the fences start over. And, and the and, pugs are faster. Yeah. Well, well yeah, and it just feels oh, it could be like natural disasters, like lightning could strike <laughs> to like destroy your ah! fence, you know, and like Will um, I make it before the pug. No. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes. Okay. Oh, he went right through the fence there's nothing you can do <laughs> the pug went right through the fence look at that One and then screen. now you're fucked right yeah. like there's this like second you're life is gone. you're guaranteed and it's just because three of them are all going <laughs> at once and there's no way that you can defend against three yeah which is very oh, tricky yeah but you now the, like but now one of these could turn around right this is the hard part second. um so like right now like so both, both of them, them did. did so now you're guaranteed to lose a point yeah. and it's just and that's just random there's but no if, way to, to have defended like, against that or if, they could have not if you look to Aardvark, they have days. Mm -hmm. And there could be a uh, sun going across, just like in Aardvark, or just the color changing of the sun, of the background, to blue, to darker yeah. blue, to purple. And then have the day, 720. Terrible. Pugs need to sit at random. That's not a bad idea. Oh, yeah, just yeah, Just some yeah. variation to That's something that... That's a great that... idea, actually. Because then you don't even know. Are they going to start up again? Yeah. Are they going to keep sitting for a while? That is a great one. That should definitely be put in. Well, also, like, as you said, treats, if you could draw them away to build the thing <clears throat> yep. up. like Drop a treat. It, it, this is the thing, man. Just a tiny, any one of these little things would make this game so Changes much more playable. dynamic completely. Yeah. 
And I think, I think, yeah, and getting something that you can, like, you know, you, oh, Farmer John found a Red Bull. Now he's gonna... <laughs> now he's faster all of a sudden. <laughs> he, can, he can carry two fence pieces at the same time. Yeah. Right? He can repair two at the same time. And that, any of these, any of these will be, like, like I put it there because that dog could turn around. But now the other one is faster. <clears throat> Um, it just needs more... Or if you could drop uh, the fence halfway, so you could, like, you Oh, know, pick another one up, because you have extra time. Yeah. That would be, like, you know... Hey, God. hey Dan. Hey, <laughs> Dan. Um, yeah, it's it's all the risk versus reward. And right now, there's... It's all risk. It's well, just most of this feels risk. out of my control, which is this yeah. really interesting position to find yourself in, where you're just kind of like, well, I'll just keep going. And Hope. we suggest, because we love... <laughs> And I actually love the premise of this game. Same, dude. This is like killer. That one's going to turn around. Nope. He says, he says, thank you for the feedback. Ah. You have no idea how helpful it is. Ah. Hey, oh, shit, man. You're welcome. You're very welcome. That's what we do here. We just, yeah. we have we have a plethora of opinions about <laughs> all sorts of things. Don't have to implement them. Maybe one's going to be helpful. Maybe somebody in the chat is going to give something really good. Like the sitting down of the pugs is awesome. That's got to be done because it looks so uh, cute. Dio, so cute. Uh, Dio 80 says it best. This game has huge potential. It's a great oh, start. I totally agree, potential. man. And it and it's a, and it's a really cool concept. And I love the pugs as a great like you know thing. Pugs on a farm. Because like, I would crazy. imagine it like the the obvious design choice would be like sheep. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the chickens, sheep are escaping pigs, or like. But not pugs, right? And it just adds pugs. that cuteness to it that draws people in immediately. Pugs, it's just hilarious it's like choice. Pug farm? A pug farm. It's like really? all the farms. Oh, you might you might get a new PB. Uh, no, mine was fifteen hundred. That's good. <clears throat> oh yeah, I guess I'm doing okay. Ugh. But one like the, hard to make these choices, right? So like oh, there you get you did... made a right choice, but you're fucked now. Yep. There's, there's literally you're, right you're, after you're this. just dead. There's no unless that pug sits down all of a sudden breaks his code which is like not gonna happen 1140 new best today playing online how about making everyone move faster and have the fix the fence on the left and the right mm -hmm. certainly so yeah you could do both and both having sides. the pugs the pile getting, of fence in the middle and having maybe faster or slower pugs could be a nice yes. benefit too yes you and know? that actually adds a lot of skill into it because now you have to go which pug is moving faster which one's going to get there in time? Yeah, just some variability, because yeah. right now it's a little too predictable. And hard as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to move on to our last game of the day, which is Pro Bowling, which is in the long line of now three um, sports games by EA Smith. <clears throat> so both MPs. That's really easy. So the EA controls, Smith. the controls I've been told are similar to the golf game. Cool. <clears throat> so I'm just going to throw you into the wild and see how you do. Okay, let's see. Do I just do I hold it down? I think I have to read. Oh. Gutter. Um. Okay. So there's like. Did you get one? No, I'm. Just, I just don't understand yet. Like what necessarily the the concept is yet. Okay. So the shot mechanics are. Move left or right to position the bowler. So move left or right to position the bowler. No, don't throw it. <laughs> no, I, I oh. didn't. I'm, see, I'm not doing anything. Oh. It just, you see, it's like, like if I go. Oh, weird. Am I not clicked on it? Let's see. Oh, what the hell? And it just immediately goes, right? <laughs> okay, we'll continue to read the instructions. Um, push up on the joystick to start approach. Push button to release ball. But you're not even pressing the button, are you? Oh, you are, yeah. You actually got something. Yeah. Um, where the meter is the ball pressed. There we go. Okay, it was just, for whatever reason, it was like... It, stuck. It, it was almost like it was stuck... Like on a loop. ...going forward. Oh, uh, there we go. So I can position... Drunk bowling. Pretty much. Okay, now we've got that. Can you move left and right again? Yeah, I can Okay, now. we're good. Okay, push up on the joystick to start the approach. Cool. So let's do that. Okay. Push the button to release the ball. 
where the meter is when the ball is pressed determines the shot. Okay. Notice the red notches on the shot meter. I'm guessing... That you need to get them exactly at the red, maybe? Yeah, that's probably your best shot, is okay. when you go it on the red. A lot of games use that mechanic, where it's like, whoa, 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 and you have to press it exactly right. Okay. You have to move left I think right. I just failed, because it's like 20. <laughs> oh. I think it's just... over? Yeah, I think okay. so. Let's start over anyway. Oh, good. Oh, what? Okay. Meter outside the notches equals a strong spin to the right. Okay. Meter inside the notches and yellow, weak spin... T oh, meter outside the notches in yellow, strong spin to the right. Meter inside the notches in yellow, weak spin to the right. So yellow goes to the right. You know, the meter it changes yeah. colors. Oh, so you, got, you almost got it right, right on that, that time. But it is going to the right on yellow. I would let it go. I'm going to go sort of more into the middle. There you go. There we go. Sick. So if you stay to the left, that's probably a good plan. Because if you, it's always going to the right on the yellow. Meter at zero equals a straight shot, which oh, seems God. to be pretty hard. A meter inside the notches in green is a weak spin to the left. Meter outside the notches in green, strong spin to the left. So I think it goes yellow, green, yellow, green. Whoa. What? You had it at like zero, zero. Know, is confused. that what you're supposed to do? Just, maybe just, just oh, that's straight. what it is. Oh, you want it not on those notches. Oh, why are those notches there? Um, well, oh, because yeah. oh, it's spin. But right at zero is a straight shot. There we go. Okay. Thrust says variable dog speeds would help a lot. Yeah, I think so too. So meter close to the middle, but not completely is best. Because green, I think, is the left, right? Uh, yeah. Green is left, yellow is right. Nice. I think I'm understanding this game a little bit. Yep. Straight. Straight on. Okay. That should be, no, green to the left. Okay. Just straight. Just oh. right in the. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Ooh. Oh, that's too bad. 60. <laughs> <laughs> 60 is okay. not a good bowling score. I think 200 is perfect or 300 is perfect. It was 300. Two, oh, is it? Yeah, it's 300. 200 is good. Like, I've gotten just over 200 once. Yeah, I don't even remember. That was like my best game. split so you have to do like a Special. really strong one to the use yellow stand to the right and like strong oh. Oh. i got one that's the most you know for i mean really. that's like <laughs> that's not a terrible hard. okay i'm starting like to understand hardest. this game a little bit i think <gasps> yay Strike! finally friends we got one uh-oh uh -oh. just immediately it just started like <laughs> kicking into gear again <laughs> And then it goes on to how you can do, uh, how you can accomplish splits, which is very advanced. <clears throat> oh, hitting pin forward, the strong spin left can knock down pin 10. Okay. <clears throat> so you can change from uh, male to female uh, with the black and white in color. Hey, that's cool. Um, I'm doing better. There you go. Edward A. Smith. Yes. I think I read that out. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I didn't. Uh, Pro Bowling 2019 by Edward Smith. E.A. Smith. Uh, this was first posted on September 11th, 2019. Uh, this build is from October 3rd, 2019. Uh, the size is uh, 8K using bank switching technique F8. Hey! hey. Whoa! One. Kicking ass? Not necessarily. Hey! <laughs> oh my god. He's gonna bowl a perfect game. Yes. <laughs> nope. No. 
<laughs> but I'm doing better. His other games are Alien Attack, Alien Revenge, Championship Golf, Kung Fu Combat, One on One, Pickle, and now Pro Bowling. Okay, so we this got is available. 107's my best so far. Oh, is that yours? Yeah, yeah. that's okay. the best I've been able so to let's manage. Let's change it to a female bowler. Hey. Okay, so yellow goes to the right. Is that yeah. so? Here's here's the thing. So you should position to the left if well, you're doing yellow. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. If you nail, it's kind of like this is sort of what how I've been figuring it out. So the, when you first click it it's going to spin the most to the right and then it'll go to the middle, which would be the most center. And then it'll go past to the green, which would be the most left. Ooh. So if you go into the center and you hit it right in the center, it'll go straight. Right. But if you are positioned slightly to the right, well then you're wise to hit it when it's yellow. Green. And if you positioned, no be, yellow, because yellow goes red, goes to the right. Oh, and then if yeah. you're on the, on the right, you wait for it to be green, green. to position a little bit to the left. So I'm going to go green first because my reaction time is probably I'd, I'd recommend be... just being in the center and then trying to just hit it right yeah. in the middle just because it's like that's, <clears throat> that'll, that'll give you the, yeah, like, so right oh, here, that was a, you, that's no, an extreme one. I didn't one. even press it. Yeah. I was thinking it just goes over and over again, but it no, doesn't. You just get one it go. It times out. And so Ooh. I mostly just was sort of in the middle. So is it and, your ball is the position of the ball? Of the ball, I'm guessing, not you. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it's um, the ball, so I'm gonna go a little bit to the left there. Okay. And see, yeah, and so that's now leaning to the right. Yeah. Um. So I, I just when I was doing well, I just basically like went in the center and tried to hit it close to the center, <laughs> and then I would sort of adjust, you know, because this would be a bit to the left. Yeah. And then now you could do the same position, but then do it a little bit to the right, if that makes sense. Right, on the so, yellow. So you do it, like, right before the red thing hits. Yeah, like some... Oh. That's pretty that good, though. Good. You uh, just, if you had a bit of curve, it would have it would have been awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This is a fairly centered one, which is good. Yeah. And it's then now, now, now do the same thing, but a bit, bit to the yellow. right. Yeah. With the, with the... Yeah, perfect. Uh... Oh, See, nailed wow. It. Okay. Yep. So that's the trick. Uh, I'm, I, this is way more understandable than the golf. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I, I think I was just doing, we just weren't understanding the golf because he says he's, he gets it fine. Yeah. But golf is a more, is a, this is two dimensional as mm -hmm. well, but it's more complex, I think. Oh, okay. See, and that's where a bit of a curvature is not bad if yeah. you want to. Same yeah. deal. Still fine. Yeah. Oh. I know. That's about oh, right. Oh, yeah. So what did you get? One. One. 107 was mine. 107. Oh, thank you, Arena Foot. Yeah, see, there you go. That's, that's the way that's to do it. That's the way you do it. Just a little bit. Stand to the left. Throw a little bit, bit to, to the, the right. right. Okay. Like that. There you go. Oh, that's how you do a strike, everyone. <laughs> and another strike. And once you find once you find your position, <laughs> you're good. Just keep throwing strikes. Is that frame nine, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. And another strike. Oh. Must be a little bit of randomness. Definitely. I mean it, it was it's it's a little bit to the right. Ooh, exactly, <laughs> exactly the same, same position. Through. See, that's the challenge of this shit. Oh, I moved. But it was over. Uh, but it could be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, man. Oh, almost. 131. Mm hmm. Beat that, and I bet you can. Because well, now we're, we're getting better we'll, at it we'll now. We'll see, man. This is a winner. This is awesome, Ian Smith. This is really, really great. Because you have the overhead view up above of the pins. You've got a really... Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I, was trying a... to, I was trying to be fancy. Yeah, getting fancy. You've got a decent representation of the pins in the middle of the kind of clumpy con collective of pins there where it kind of goes off like that. Oh, that's not bad. You missed one. Um, what is that thing where if you do find the right position, it's a huge God. advantage? Oh, my God, yeah. Nice, nice. The scoring's good. It's got a persistent score at the top. Um, tells you your score in the middle of the screen, which is really nice. 
Um, it's very dynamic. Like you're moving, like oh, adjust, do it quickly. Yeah, once you it's sort of, once you kind of figure out the system, it's a big deal. It's really understandable. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Almost. Oh, yeah. Almost. It's not so easy to. No. Right down the. Oh, a little bit to the left. Nice. Yay. Okay. Good. So I can see why he's like, yeah, I'm done with this. Because it, does, it doesn't say that it has two players, though. Yeah, it'd be nice to that do would that. Be the that issue. would be really good. Um, it's not a multiplayer. It's a single player at a time. I mean, you could play one person, then play the other person. It's a pretty quick game, right? Yeah, uh, how many do we get to do? It's like... Nice. I think that's it. I only get 10, no. No, 12. Is that 12 frames? Oh, no, you get two extra on your 10th because you you got a strike on your 10th. Yeah. You get two extra balls. Cool. So, 95. yeah, 95, not terrible. Not terrible, no. <sighs> yeah, it's one of those things where if you find a good position and a good... Yeah. Yeah, two, two, two players would be awesome. Two players would be a big enhancement to it, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, the reality of bowling is yeah. that if you get, like, what is it? What is it called? A strike where you get yeah. everything? Yeah. It, it's just, you just dominate. Like, if you get, like, oh, a, yeah. anyone who gets a couple strikes, it's like, you're winning. <laughs> oh, yeah. In a row, too? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's cumulative. I feel like in this game, too, getting a spare is much harder than getting a strike, actually. To get to pick up those three? Yeah, and, I mean, you'll be this you'll be better, but if it's split, it's like, I don't fucking know how to get right on. Yeah, there see, we go. There you go. You got yeah. it. Nice. Bam. Yep. Two player. No, uh, no, he he said he's done. He posted in the Atari Age forum saying, I'm done. I mean, I They're get going to put a pin in it. I mean, as a single player bowling game, perfection. Yeah, man. Like, there's nothing here that I could say that needs. A really good, um, I'd say a really great approach and strategy <clears throat> for dealing with, like, the, the challenges of bowling. Right? See, now you're golden, man. You I got know. yeah. In the you, right once, position. Once you find it and, and you kind of, like, and if you can nail it. You get it, that every time? Yeah, then, then you just, then it's your game, man. Uh, but you can get a spare, maybe. Yeah, that should get it. Oh no! See, I it's think it's as, as I said, it's much harder to get. Um, oh, damn it! Got her! Oh, almost got her! So it, it, it feels like it's much easier to get a strike in this game than it is to to get, get all the pieces. It is, yeah. Ah. <clears throat> ah, that's it. Nope. No, one more. Still oh, doing. this is the tenth frame. Yeah, it's still doing oh, so very well though, man. If you get a good one, you could be PB. Yep. Yep. If I get the strike Yay. here, I get two more balls. Good shit. That's the best one so far. Oh, damn it! But I get one more ball. I think. Fuck yeah! One forty-seven, man, crushing it. Let me see if one I more can... game each. Yeah, let's see if I can get. And it should, he should reset with the button. That's a problem. Um, because you have to reset with the keyboard. Nice. <clears throat> I hope he does continue on with this game and make a two-player variation. Um, It'd be very nice, eh? It's just extra memory. And some indicator of who's playing. He can put it up in the top with a score. Like P1 on the right hand side. P2. <clears throat> no, it's not 147, Erilyn. That's James. That's me. I got that. <laughs> Don't uh, give him that score. I mean, I'll take he has to it. Earn it. I'll take it, but it's not. <laughs> it's not deserved, man. Yeah. I can't remember what you got. 90. 90 something. I got 107. Is my, after my, that. My PB. After that. Oh. See, it's like, it's it's one of those things where it's like, you either nail it or you don't in this game. Mm. Like, mm. <laughs> see, like, it's yeah. just bad luck. Yeah. Yeah, you either For get it or you don't. Like, here it's kind of oh, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> see like it's what like the hell because it's like hitting the middle one straight on when you want to be off to the left yeah off to the right just a little bit that's okay arena just type it again 147j correction because see like i'm doing like fair i'm fairly competent at it but it's like oh, no. but with no 84. strikes it's like it's <clears throat> nothing See? God damn it. Yeah. Ah! It's not easy. It's a pretty fast timer. That's too much. I overcompensated. Oh, not a bad pickup. No, nah, man. There. And once you get it, you get it, you know? It's yeah. like, it's a weird game. Like, it's like, it's either you nail it or you don't. You don't even have to move ever. Yeah, once you find <gasps> it. But see, that's what I, I got. Oh. So I got like four of those, man, in the last one where it's like, it's just tough. Oh, let's go right through, right Same through them. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, there is a like that. Those bars in the bottom are not exact pixels. Like it could be a half pixel that we're not seeing. Like yeah, that, and, and it's, that may be perfect. That may not. And oh, see, like it's, that's it's a pickup. That's what I've noticed. It's very hard. Like you either kind of get the strike or you don't. You know. Yeah. There you go. It's like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit off. Maybe I need to move just a touch. Damn it. So it's a perfect ball. No. It's too much. Yeah, let's try that. Ugh. Yeah. Yay, oh, nailed nice. it, man. It's <laughs> tough though, because like with these games, like eighty six is a is like a not as good of a score no but you also like haven't actually been doing that much worse it's like you just have to like because it's like you either nail it's it or you strike, don't strike 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 is is i get a spare and get an extra maybe ball. <sighs> damn it nope that's still it still a very good score man 124 not too bad 147 i wonder what all strikes is probably 200 yeah something i think like it that. is i think that's right yeah. <clears throat> so amazing yeah, amazing three. bowling game really i good. really like it yeah man and and even if you're really good at it and position yourself um there's a bit of there's a lot of randomness and a like, lot of mastery to trying to done. hit that exact you know that exact point on the bar is not easy there's still still a lot of randomness to it so that is great. Oh, we didn't get to a topic I wanted to talk about, but we don't have to talk about it. We'll talk about it next time. Cool. Um, it's the Atari VCS. Yeah. Um, but I'll make it, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it next time because it's not really relevant to <laughs> homebrew at all. It's yeah. just a fun little topic. Um, so thank you for joining in. Uh, next episode, we have <clears throat> some more fun games. We have a new game, Bushido. Uh, we're going to be playing some more Robo Mechanic because um, we made it through almost all the That's all the levels game, in one man. world. Yep. Um, and I guess I'm gone for a little bit because you're yeah, you're going to be you're back on the like in ooh, November. Wait a second. <laughs> Basically, look at the timing here. Oct no, not oh maybe almost November. That might actually be even be the Halloween show. Uh, oh, dude! I got to dress up as someone. Yeah, 20. I nailed it last year. Oh, I got the. I can do a show on the twenty third, or can I? Ooh. Cause yeah, you're gonna okay. be gone, man. That's tough to squeeze in. That's why I didn't do it. Yeah. Cause I'm back on the twenty first here. Yeah, which is rough. Cause you also it's have a lot of stuff away. to stuff to add up. Yeah, I do. You can oh keep me po you can keep us posted. You can you don't have to decide right now. Yeah, we'll see if that's uh, if I have enough games lined up, um, I could I could make a twenty third show. Um, I've got all the games lined up for the Halloween show mm -hmm. already, and there's also should I should we do it on Halloween, or should we do it on the regular Wednesday before Halloween? 
It's up to you. I'm free on the Thursday if you want yeah. to do a Halloween show. That because be I think fun. that's way cooler to do it on. Let's Halloween. do it. Let's do a Halloween because that'll that'll also give me a reason I'll get all dressed up and run Perfect. run by, and I don't have to like because last year it sucked because I had to go to work all day and oh. then come back. So I ended up having to like, and then I and then I just changed when I came here because I didn't want to like dress all. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Be in my costume, so that's way easier because I can just come over here in my costume. We can do our show. Yeah. Okay, if you're good on the thirty first, so am I. We'll yeah. just push the Wednesday to the Thursday. Yeah, and it's just just this one time because of the Halloween. Yeah, it's um, way cooler. So next episode, we're gonna play Bushido Robo Mechanic, and we're gonna go for a patch challenge of barnstorming. That's on uh, the Friday. And then we're live from Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Tanya and I are going to be there. It's going to be on the 20th on the Sunday, the last day of the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Uh, thank you very much, Jared yeah, Gray thanks, West. Um, and then the next show back is going to be uh, the 25th or maybe the Wednesday. I yeah. don't know. 23rd, 25th. We'll see. But then after that is the Halloween episode on the Thursday. We're going to be playing Skeleton Plus. We're going to play Do Re Mi Halloween Edition, which is pretty cool looking. Uh, Zombie Invaders, which is a Space Invaders hack. Uh, Ronister at ha Haunted House, which is um, an exclusive because it's only on cartridge. It's not been released on ROM. I talked to the guy. That's a Berser Berserk hack. Um, and possibly more if I find any more Halloween cool. uh, games that I have not uh, played before last Halloween and we got to do it because all these are uh, new games well skeleton plus is an old game but we just didn't play it last one yeah last and, time um, and so I, I told you I play a, a online game quite often path of exile I deleted yes. all my characters why which was what two happened? and a half years of work what happened why would you do that I just reached a point where I was you done uh, yeah because I've I, I finished all my goals and agree and I and I had a goal in mind which was I wanted to take um all my favorite characters up to level 90 and, and oh. I played 15 different characters through Jeez. the game and I had quite the wealth and I just wow. reached a point where I was looking at it and I was logging in and I wasn't enjoying myself anymore and I yeah. and I reached a point where I was also like I knew that the the habit would be there you know I'd go home and I'd want to go and play and it was that thing where I was like I think I need to I would much rather use this time for other things yeah and it was time to let go it was a fun curve that totally off. and it was a sad thing because it was like you know goodbye two years of work and I've regretted no, it you, you had fun during those totally years. and I and I regretted it a, li a little bit but why would you delete them rather than just go well, because I would want to go back to it. Oh, I had to, like, I had to cut it, I had to cut it off. Burn man. it all. Unfortunately, because I've I've done that before. I've stepped away and come back. Stepped away, come back. Oh, and um, uh, that makes sense. But it was that. But it was also important because like you need to. It's like a bad relationship, and you burn all the pictures. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't so much that. It was still a good relationship, but it was just letting go. It was just you know sometimes you yeah. do you do, I think sometimes you have to decide when something's over, and it was for me. Yeah, it's more like a television show. Yeah. That's peaked. You exactly. Got, you, or maybe just past peak. And, and you you're just like, maybe we should stop making this show, guys. Totally, but so we don't ruin it for ourselves. And um, and and it and it's also I found myself like you know watching lots of YouTube content about it, and it was just uh, it was just taking up um, space in my life. So it's sad to say goodbye to it, but it's also yeah. been um, very freeing. I find myself doing a lot more different things, and you know, oh, that's and, good. and it's been it's yeah, been yeah. really good for my mental health and all that stuff. But it's also sad because it's like you know it's a two year two years of work, yep. kind of like. But well, yeah. you have to think about quality of life and where you want to put your time into exactly and it is like a mandela at a certain point it's like you build this little and that's life to some degree you build up this little thing and i think i think to gracefully go through life you have to sometimes you know um something needs to die for something to be born sadly <laughs> yeah it's, it's like true. there's only so much space there's only so much attention and i found myself thinking about it a lot like i would be like uh, on the bus uh, and i'm and i'm really happy that it's like it's over but yeah i wanted priorities. to tell you guys that because i thought that would be an interesting thing to say to the it show is, it's an interesting thing that everybody has to deal with in their life where yeah. do i place my priorities and when you get and these and this also a test a problem i think we have now with gaming which is these games are so vast and so good and, and never so ending. expansive exactly they are meant to go forever the these games. the programmer the guy who did it um uh, chris wilson he get a gave a speech which was a really cool speech and he had these these pillars of what he thought a good game was and this mm. really great speech but one of the things was as he said i want to design a game that you'll play forever and and you're like oh 
And I'm like, that's what you're doing, and it works, and that's and it's the new thing now. And I'm and and it's and that's where I think it's it's interesting though, because there's a level of determinism and agency. It's like the only way for me to have agency is to is for me to decide when this is over, when I want right. to stop, because the game won't anymore. There's no, no. beating it. And what an interesting predicament now, because yeah. with these games, there is a point where it's over, but now yeah. days there isn't. You know? No, they they want to keep making money on that game. Correct. So they don't have to start over. And they're and really good at it. <laughs> yeah, the, the amount of return for the amount of investment after you've created the engine for the game is so much smaller. Yeah. So it's in their best interest. Um, well, I was in Portland at the massive, massive bookstore. If you're into books at all and you're ever in Portland, go to Powell City of Books. It is a one square block, three story tall bookstore it is unbelievably massive and i picked up some video game books uh blood sweat and pixels Ooh, and see, this is good. uh stories of taking uh it follows people not doesn't follow them but uh, interviews them after the fact of going through the life cycle of a video game from start to finish that's fascinating and all the obstacles that they had to encounter and and it's not easy and it's a lot about the business side of things of of video games and the personal side of things these are the games it does um uh, pillars of eternity uncharted 4 stardew valley diablo 3 halo wars dragon age inquisition shovel knight destiny the witcher 3 and star wars 13 13 so, pillars of eternity is one of my favorite games of all time that's a uh, really really good game but that's a retro playback to Baldur's Gate, and Obsidian's the developer, and Obsidian is one of my favorite developers, because they did Fallout New Vegas, mm. um, and they also did wow. um, Knights of the Old Republic 2, they're, and they have a new one coming out, which is like, so they're very cool, they're, they're one of my yeah. favorite developers. So it gives you some insight into how these games come about, the compromises they had to make because of time. Um, the struggles between studios, like, oh, you have to put it out, we're not done, we don't like it, blah, blah, blah. So, so really interesting book yeah, if man. you're at all, like a lot of people that watch this show are developers, but they're a one-man show or maybe three-person show, and so they would relate and understand, you know, yeah. the struggles. And one cool thing about Pillars of Eternity was it was crowdsourced to be finished. There See, was... That's another factor. It's yeah. Like, Where's our game? Where's our game? <laughs> and, and the most radical thing they did is, I think that game came out 2016, 2017, something, maybe something like that. And what they did is they didn't hire voice actors for everything. They have written text so that they could uh, get more content, which is quicker. like... Which is actually really cool because it's like, that's a certain market of gamers who are willing to read and it's like yes, that's a huge that's and, true and in these older games i think they had more rich stories because they didn't have to voice over everything oh my god and yeah. also i just feel like whenever there's a voiceover actor it's like you can't read it as fast and it's always their interpretation and it also yes. kills immersion sometimes so it's it very does. cool yeah because you're imprinted by their voice and their inflections and the way they read it totally <clears throat> and the other book i got is uh the first quarter a 25 year history of video games um, so I don't know anything about this one. I picked it up. I thought, oh, I should brush up on this era that we're Well, hell in. yeah, man. <clears throat> VCS. Yeah, that would be very interesting if the VCS was a story in here. Um, but we'll talk about the VCS next episode. Yeah. Um. Halloween episode. <laughs> like, I was going to compare VCS to, uh, the Coleco Phoenix, um, um, and to the... Um, the Intellivision uh, Amico, is that it? Amico, yeah, and uh, and to some of the other FPGA devices and the strengths and weaknesses of of each of them and the audience that each of them are aimed for yeah. and is there an audience and why are they making these things? Are they just preying upon our uh, retro sensibilities <laughs> and our age and are they going to be successful yeah. in each of the because all of them are very very different goals um but anyway i i forgot and <laughs> we ran out of time uh, but uh we'll save that for another another episode maybe the friday show with with tanya yeah yeah so thanks everybody for tuning in i want to thank uh, all the people who are chatting here thrust 26, Jared Gray West, Repentless VG, Arena Foot, uh, Mybach, 
Oh, that's a new hey, name. Welcome, Mybach. Impaler, Dan. Um... Uh, Dan Leroy, who's a programmer of the second game we played, which was um, the Pugs. Uh, Panic, Panic on... at the Pug Farm. Panic on the... Like, I was thinking, uh, like, the actual name is Panic on the Pug Farm. Panic at the Pug Farm is, I think... Even well, it's a little uh, bit it, more urgent. It's just because I'm thinking of Panic at the Disco. That's why yeah. I'm that that friggin' band. Or drop the the and Panic on Pug Farm. Panic on Pug Farm is more it's, alliteration, man. Yeah, it's a lot more alliteration. But, I mean, it works as it is. It's no, no big deal. We're just thinking names. Dios Kilos 80. Uh, Lyrical d- name right there. Yeah, Smokey 133 JDN. Who's the other programmer? Uh, Jared Grove West, Carl G. Charlie Coleslaw. Charlie Coleslaw, who uh, said something, one thing. Sir, uh, Cat, Sir Cat Legs, Legs. man. Nathan Strom. Nathan Strom. Ground Trooper. Uh, I think we got everyone. Milton, Milton Buddhist. Milton Buddhist was here for a bit. Yeah. Uh, Tietfos was here as well. RC70. A whole bunch of people. All Splendid our friends, man. Well. It's so good. Yeah, all the regulars and some new ones. Maybe dead by then. It may be. It may be dead by the, the, VCS. the VCS. The Atari VCS project. It is like exploding in flames at the moment. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a fun ride. Well, maybe it'll be a post-mortem. And I ho- yeah, it might be a post-mortem. Yeah, Which work. is nothing wrong work. with that. A little eulogy. <laughs> yep. So I hope nobody out there in this chat, which I know nobody gave them their money in this chat, I'm pretty sure. But maybe you did, and maybe you're panicking now. Because <laughs> you should be. You should be panicking. Um, so thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back on Friday at, I think, Friday at 6? I think oh, that's is it Darcy Show or Tanya Show? It is Tanya Show, so it's hey, a 6 p.m. It's a later stuff. show, so uh, R.I.P. Europeans, you won't be able Sorry, to watch friends. it. Unless you're up at uh, 2 or 3 in the morning, I think it is. Yeah, and then yeah, what, 1 a.m. And so then I, I guess I'll see you guys at the Halloween show. Yeah, so that's going to be, be a while for you to return. Or maybe one maybe show before, before. We'll see how it goes, man. Yeah. I'm open to both. Yeah, we'll see um, how the games stack up. Maybe we'll head back into Boulder Dash and give that a another, an another extra go. game. Just throw that and make that the whole show. Make it easy on me. <laughs> yeah, man. So I don't have to do research. I have to do like a couple hours of research every show. Um, that's not a bad idea. And there are yeah. some games we've always wanted to beat that we could try and do. like Yeah, you know. a catch-up show. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's not a terrible thing because that gives you a bit of a break. We could even try, you know, like actually, that show. No, we're gonna do that show because I'll have a p- stack of games. Yeah, dude, from the f- what the hell am I thinking? <laughs> we're gonna at least like go through the games. Yeah, man. I don't know if I'll be able to play them. That's the only problem. That's the problem. But at least we'll we'll go through the games. We'll look at the games, totally. and then we'll play. Whatever's. I can't even play Boulder Dash, actually. Yeah, because... What am I thinking? Of... I have to repair my VCS. Yeah. Oh, my God. I have no time. CPH is in That's... shambles right now. because <laughs> it's of... a problem. But it's just because you've been out away doing, doing oh, like... So much to do. A lot I have of to work, pre- prepare man. for the, um, the fes- festival, the film festival coming up. Yeah. That I'm leaving for in a week. <laughs> Less than a week. Yeah, um, it's just crunch time for your movie. It's but I have started and... doing it. Stupid work made me walk away. I didn't get past Anteater. When do you post to YouTube? I always do it a day after, 24 hours after. Yeah. So it'll be 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, Pacific Standard Time, um, when we started this, because I have to. Um, it's uh, the rules of uh, Twitch. If I want to take any of their money, uh, that I have to delay it by 24 hours. But That's you know, okay. It's fine. Or you can watch it on Twitch as well. Totally. It's always there for on Twitch. It's just you have to skip through the, the preamble of the 40 minutes. You can play RF. Just Robo Mechanic was too extreme. Uh, a lot of these games that are coming back from uh, the yeah. Portland Retro Gaming Expo are pretty extreme. And too. here's the thing: you want to. Yeah, I could we, do RF. Yeah, but we want to show them off in their best. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like that's part of the spirit of the show. But we gotta <laughs> so get this. As soon as I turned it on, people were like, "No, no, do emulation, please." There, it was so terrible. Yeah, yeah they were very. Uh, was that upset. when I was here? or Was that a different time? I think it was Darcy. Because I was here when we tried to play like um, what was the one the RPG. No, maybe it was you. Yeah. And, and they're like, was... nope. Yeah. We, we voted on RF, but we changed our mind immediately. Yeah, we, we all just collectively we decided. It. Yeah, because the RF hasn't been replaced on that four switch, and that's probably why it's just not very clean. Yeah. Yeah. There's only so much you can do. So, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's roll the dice, whether I have enough time. I really do want to fix that. I'm going to try to put in some more time today to fix my Atari. Um, now that I've got the schematics, it's going to be a lot easier. Thank you. 
everybody for forwarding me that schematics. I think it was Thrust 26. Somebody. Done. Somebody out there. Um, so we're done. Another we'll fat show. <laughs> yeah, big show. Yeah, pretty uh, extra half hour. That's good. So we'll see you on Friday. You'll see him uh, in a while. Yeah, <laughs> okay. well, we'll see what we see. Yeah, <laughs> bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.